Yeah. Okay, stop. It would no, be no, cultural stop, appropriation. Stop, stop, stop. No, no, wait. Stop, stop, stop. Let, no, let's stick with that. Let's stick with that. No, 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 no. No, let's, no, let's I'm stick, no, no. I'm going to switch it. No, no, no. Because no, I want to yeah. adjust, I wanna adjust rapper, that. If, I want to adjust that. Fowler, that. No, no. If Jack Fowler done what I missed done, right, I started anyway. making peace. Anyway, what you what you were saying, yeah, is you said, you said, you said, what is the, what is the difference between them two? Oh, he left as well. You said, also, I feel like he got kind of hurt, you know? <laughs> She left you know. Love it. Yeah. Yes, people, before we get into the episode, um, we are on Clubhouse now, which is invite only. So if you haven't got an invitation, we're sorry. Um, but what can you do? This this is society in it. Some people are the top, some people are the bottom. People with no Clubhouse invites are at the bottom. I was joking, I was joking, that can't go. Just shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Quick announcement before the episode. We got Clubhouse now. Um, all the Titans are on Clubhouse. A, B, Kyojin, Agony Ads. Did you put Agony Ads as a username? Yeah, I'll do that now. Uh, Agony Ads is um, on Titan Talk <laughs> on Clubhouse. Um, so go follow us there. Um, we will probably hold some weekly conversations on there after each episode. So you have a listen to the episode. Um, and sometime during the week, we'll just have some conversations about what we said and you guys get to speak your piece. Yeah. Does that make sense, guys? Follow me, man. AB Titan, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, I'm working in, welcome in Agony. Agony. Oh, Agony. <laughs> I'm doing it now. I'm you know, now. your name don't change after that, you know. It sticks yeah, with you cool. forever. I'm it's not going to use it for anything else, isn't it? You can change your display name anyway. Yeah. Um, but yeah, guys, follow us on there. We'll start a club on Clubhouse. Um, so if you're not following, come and speak your piece. Yeah, and we'll follow you back as well. Uh, do you know what? I, <laughs> no, I, I, I think I think it's a good idea, you know, because I really enjoy arguing with people. So <laughs> I think I argue with you, on a weekly basis. If any of you are up for an argument, yeah, join the thing. It we can go back back and forth. Follow up Agony Ads, Kyojin, yeah, AB Titan. Yeah, um, even outside the scheduled ones, we might just randomly pop up a little fun conversation. It'll be a good way for you guys to talk to us and speak your piece. That's the main thing. You get to speak your piece. And follow we'll... us on Insta and Twitter for the updates when we're going to jump on Clubhouse or whatever. Without further ado, let's just get straight into the episode. Let's start the episode. Would you also, Agony Ads, would you also like to say, let's start the episode? Oh, let, yeah. yeah, let's start the episode. <laughs> 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 right, let's just start it, man. <laughs> yes, people, welcome to another episode of Titan Talk, episode 11. Um, I'm your co host, Kyojin. I'm your boy, AB. And Look got, alive, you prick. You're going to introduce me. I'm waiting to introduce me. I was thinking, I was thinking no, to myself, no, like, are, are, we, are we past the point of introducing you, bro? Yeah, like, fam, we've got agony that... ads in the house. Nah, man. I'm still a special guest. Nah, we're, talking reg- we're, we're talking got... regulars, fam. You're going from special nah. guest to regular. You guys say we've guess... got a very special guest, and then I'll say my name. Listen, so, listen. Yeah, it's me. It's not, you're, not a very, you're not a guest anymore. Yeah. As my mom says, when my auntie comes to my house, you're not a guest. Put your feet up. You know, yeah, I'm gonna help myself to anything then, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's do this. All right, no special treatment no more, yeah. Anyway, yeah, yeah, we've got yeah. agony ads with us. Agony What's ads. happening, guys? You all right? You know, we call him agony ads, yeah, and we had uh, no dilemmas, no nothing for him, you know. Right yeah, exactly, man. Life is peace, wouldn't it? Life is peace. Yeah. Yeah. Before before today's introduce today's topic, yeah. I want to take you back to last week when A B said he promised his boy, yeah. He said, if I do this, he would give a hundred oh, pounds to shit. any charity. Yeah. 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 Have you done it? Did you do it? Come on, bro. Wait, what? Wait, wait. Let me wait, see. I can't even see it. <laughs> come on, bro. I told you I braided it into four braids, bro. Oh, yeah, she did. Yeah, come on, bro. You got me here looking like... Damn. <laughs> Jewish killed you. <laughs> AB, get your money up, man. Get your money up. What charity? What charity? Pick a charity. I'm looking, I'm looking like post alone, you know, always, always <laughs> on my ones. Man, man, looking like Curry Malone, fam. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Um, 
Sorry. They actually have a charity in Manj though. Um, one of my friends, her like family in in back home in Poland, <clears throat> in the middle of the night, their house burned down and they lost all of their belongings and everything. So they're homeless, isn't it? Oh, so they're looking damn. to raise some money. So if you want to put some uh, some towards that, and then the other fifty, I say, put it to what, like whatever charity you choose, isn't it? So fifty-fifty, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm saying, um, I got you. Send me the link in it. I will send you the link, and then we'll, we might we we'll put in our um I can't believe link tree. To be Fam, honest, it... that's, not, that's not exactly how I wanted to be buried. I wanted to be here, like from the actual root, but it's calm. Listen, I'm not trying to appropriate. But yeah, hundred hundred pounds to charity out of the way. Um, I was gonna say, A B, he set you up, you know. Because he's in charge of editing, he could have taken it out. <laughs> Bro, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, that's true. You know, and also, you know, you see when you when when we when I do before I do my hair release, yeah, you better edit the part from last week as well. But I'm putting my hoodie on here because I look I look like what, what bit from last week? <laughs> <laughs> that looks hard though, I can't lie, it looks sick. Nah, I didn't do the, the top properly in it, but it's calm anyway. It's all for charity, all for good cause in it. Um, yeah. you think I made a money woman? No, I'm joking. You think I made a money. <laughs> yeah, clearly. I didn't um, think you could do it. That's why I said it. So yeah. <laughs> um, have have before again before we get into the topic. Yeah, I have a little like trick I want to play on you guys. Yeah, or like a little game in it. Are you ready? Yeah. And for the audience, the listeners, people watching at home, I want you to play along with us. Yeah. So what I want you to do first, and also. If I guess right, then you have to do something at the end, yeah. Nothing dirty, yeah. Nothing dirty, well, like nothing dirty. Uh, okay. Yeah. yeah cool. For you, for you, for you guys, and for the people listening at home. So people listening at home, you also have to do this forfeit, okay? Yes, we will. Okay, they agree. Yeah, forfeit, forfeit. You will see where it's. Do, do you agree? Yes. Do you agree? Yes or no? I've gone. I don't have a choice. Okay, you agree. Okay, so I want you to think. <laughs> think of a number. I only want that. My only really wanted that for 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 consent, fam. Think of a number between no. Think of a number in the two times table. Any you know number what? in the two times table. I didn't know uh, one. Time. Okay. Okay. Hold it in your head. Don't tell me what it is. Hold it in your head. People listen at yeah. home as well. Hold it in your head. I want you to times that number by two. Okay. Let, let me get a calculator. One sec. <laughs> okay. Now that now I, that just, I, I came back from work today, I'm I'm very tired. One sec. Wait, are you actually calculating? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now that you have your, your new number, hold that in your head. Yeah? yeah. Is that number an even number? Yeah. 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 Okay. You guys lost. So the forfeit is. Oh, what do you mean? <laughs> the, the forfeit. Wait, wait, wait. The forfeit is Good. if if I guess you if I guess correctly, you have to hit subscribe, follow, like, share oh, okay. on whatever platform you're watching this on. Yeah. yeah so if wait, I guess gonna... correctly. You're going to guess yeah. the number. I guessed already. It was an even number. What are you talking about? Nah, this guy's a yes, joke, man. Yes yes what? or no? Was, was your number an even number or no? Yes or no? <laughs> Bro, I bet. Can you put your mouth, fam? Yes or no? Yes or no? Was your number an even number? It was. What What number were you thinking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah, it was. Exactly. 88. I was thinking of that too. Yeah. yeah. 88 is from 1 and 10. He didn't say, didn't one, say one, 10. 1 to 10. What did he say? He said in the two times table. Any number in the two times table. Oh. I went for six. Anyway, now that you guys lost, everyone listening at home, if you don't subscribe, you're the wallet of the week. Bro, you know, it didn't have to be an even number. What do you mean? You could times any number by two and it'll be an even number. (laughs) No, I was just adding extra steps in it. Oh, okay. All right. (laughs) So, yeah. All that nonsense out the way. This week's week's topic is kind of like one big wallet of the week, though, isn't it? Mm. One huge is oh man, I've had enough, bro. But yeah. one huge <laughs> scruffy wallet of the week. You might as well play the soundbite right now. So who who are we talking about? Shut Boris Nonson. <laughs> <laughs> Boris Nonsense, yeah. Um we're talking about um Tories, isn't it? Yeah. Like their handling of Brexit, their handling of the lockdown. Um just their incompetence in general. Um, and I've got, I have got a sound, but I'm just finding it again. Fucking Tory cunt. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and that, that came from a Tory as well. In Parliament and everything. <laughs> yeah. So, you know. Bro, Joke, you, see, you see the, 
uh, Matt Hancock on whatever show P- Piers Morgan hosts. Bro, inject it. That that oh, felt so good to watch. Man was, bro, was man was. Man, have dude. you seen that that wee for the that, that, that <laughs> Have you seen that meme? Yeah. I'll I'll I'll, I'll add it. I'll add it in now for the visuals if you haven't seen it. You listen to that weird, 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 weird You were sweating, man. And he's in that tiny room as well. I lie. It and looks like he's sitting in his toilet. In his mom's basement. <laughs> that fucking virgin. I feel like he was sitting in the cupboard under my stairs, man. Yeah, exactly, man. <laughs> no, man, that's still preoccupied by you. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's crazy, like... You see how how the levels he went to to avoid avoid telling the truth in that situation. Should we, should we, should we update them yeah. for people who people who, who might not know what we're talking about? Should we tell them what happened? Go on. Yeah. Okay. So Matt Matt Hancock uh, voted against giving kids free school meals uh, during the holidays, I believe. Yeah. Uh, it was the first. Think, the first. Was it, uh, was it during term time uh, when there was lockdown? I think it was the first holidays during lockdown. So, like, obviously, people are worried that coming out of school, they're not going to be fed because yeah. they're, either their parents are working or their parents usually get free school meals. So everyone was worried about what would happen to the kids when they come back on holiday. Yeah. Um, and, this, and this wine car voted against it. And Piers Morgan basically stuck it on this pussy, yo. <laughs> uh, talking about, oh, <laughs> like, uh, talking about if he regrets. Um, I can't like he proper cornered them, though. He'd done, like, a little... yeah. A, a little checkmate, fam. I respect it still. <clears throat> yeah, usually Piers is a bit of a twat, but a you know, I, I like when he pressures uh, pressures politicians. It's good. But, yeah. uh, didn't he vote for Thing Conservative? Probably. I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised either. But, um, I've read, but I, I remember reading somewhere that he voted voted for Conservatives. Yeah, but also he, he's he's a joke man as well. Like he pressures uh, like politicians and people about. Um, about like lockdown and not traveling and coronavirus and everything. And for Christmas, he flew out his his family to some. I can't remember where the way he flew them out to, but he flew them out somewhere. Like he's, he's a hypocrite, man. He's a hypocrite. Yeah, Piers Morgan. As they say, man, it's like one rule for the rest of us, one rule for yeah. them. Yeah. You know I, I mean? swear, there's a picture that got dropped today about um, Boris Johnson going somewhere, like breaching lockdown rules and that. With his... He went for a seven mile uh, bike ride for his daily exercise. Yeah. <laughs> he's an idiot and in the same week like people were getting um and i i agree with it like people were getting fined for like sitting on on benches on the pier in bournemouth uh with a drink because they were having a picnic yeah that's that's, like, that's cheeky fam. A picnic the thing is yeah up. yeah if you're gonna find those people i agree with finding people um yeah. who are breaching lockdown rules in it because everyone needs to like work together to get rid of this but if you're gonna find the working class at least at least have the same standards for politicians as well do you guys know that david cameron dodged 300 bags of tax i'm not surprised man everybody does it and this and that is that is tax that he proposed Mm. they do they do a lot man they do a lot and they always they always be like the people the people that defend tax uh, avoiders or not tax avoiders tax evaders yeah they say stuff like oh if, if you have stricter tax laws then like companies won't come here and stuff like that and they won't they won't do their business in england but it's like so you're telling me they only come here because they get away with not having to pay that much tax like i'm sure if, if we have nothing else yeah. to offer you're telling me all we have to offer <clears throat> is the fact that we don't they can avoid t- uh, paying us by being here and um, that makes no sense to me if if they went elsewhere because of tax laws, there'd be a gap in the market and someone else would fill it. So it's not an issue. Yeah, yeah. we could we could get into that. Yeah, exactly, man. We start up Starbucks 2.0. Yeah, and it's crazy as well, yeah. Like kind of diversity, but like the people the celebrities that people are ready to jump onto for tax avoidance, or especially tax evasion, sorry, especially the, the media, like um Daily Mail. The sun, all that stuff, yeah. Yeah. Ooh, like, bear of these celebrities doing it. Like, it must be so many Lord, Lord Sugar, all those people in it. But they don't really write about them. And Lewis Hamilton, they write about him like every week that he's got, you know, he's got his money in Monaco and stuff like that. But so yeah. many celebrities do. That's obviously the reason why. Obviously, it's kind of obvious they want to like tarnish his name. But it yeah, makes you think, like, what, why, why, all these celebrities do, all these companies do it, 
and they'll never ever speak on it. Do you know what I mean? Fam, it's the same thing with like how Raheem Sterling gets targeted. Like I swear, you, I swear yeah. they he got attacked for buying his mum a house or something. Yeah, yeah like a new sink uh, or some shit like that. So stupid, man. And I remember one time, yeah, he was. Um, I think he had. He, I think he had like a GLC or GLE. Yeah. Filling up petrol, and he's like, "Oh yeah, a uh, football football star, uh, Raheem Sterling, pulls up his however many worth car, car uh, while people are starving or some shit. Some some." <laughs> Oh, is, he, is he supposed to drive like a fucking micro or something? <laughs> I remember, I remember so they did the same thing when England like got knocked out of the World Cup of the Euros or something, yeah? And they were like, oh, um, Raheem Sterling eats breakfast the next day after getting kicked out of the World Cup. <laughs> <laughs> that man's not meant to eat breakfast. What the hell? But you know, slyly, yeah? Like, yeah. they're going to do that regardless. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Like, they're going to, obviously, I don't need to say why they do it. It's obvious, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You see, like, how, like, we're talking about it, yeah, but you see, the see, like, if we click on an article or like repost it, like Daily Mail comments just, and shit. Yeah, like it's just more viewership for them, isn't it? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So I think the less people like uh, respond to it, I think it will be the better. I think it will be it will be easily cut out. Do you know what the crazy thing about that is, though? Yeah, because let's say we like people like us don't respond to it. People that who can see that 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 shit is stupid, isn't it? Yeah. If you go in the comments anyway, you'll see all these people who be like, "Oh, this is what's wrong with the world. Um, this is why this is why people shouldn't have nice things, or footballers should get paid less, and all that stuff." Like there'll always be like things like Daily Mail and the Sun. They'll always have their core following, whether we ignore it or not. They'll always be there, like supporting them or like spreading that message. You know what I mean, yeah. <clears throat> and speaking of hypocrisy, yeah, I um, I think I saw on Twitter today or in like. On Google, you know, there's ads for, for like articles and stuff. Um, but apparently, like the the government, they paid out like sixty three thousand pounds to inf- like Instagram influencers to promote yeah. track and trace here. Oh yeah, and like and most of them are like off on holiday in Dubai and stuff. <laughs> so <laughs> they're getting paid to promote it, and they they're breaking the 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 lockdown rules themselves. Yeah, like, it's, been a couple. All, you got you got to love this country, Ali. It's all a facade, man. It's, it's, it's crazy. No man, some cooks. That's why I find yeah. like celebrity culture so weird, fam. Yeah. Like people put on a pedestal. And it's weird as well, yeah, because these people get put on a pedestal and the reasons why they get like let's say the people from Love Island, yeah. Why are they like I'm not knocking them, but why are they famous? Because you know, they went on a like a reality show, they they're, they're yeah. funny, they make you laugh, all that stuff, yeah. And then when they get famous, they get the bag and stuff, yeah. People be in their comments like, Oh, why don't you speak on this issue? Why don't you speak on that issue? You've, you've been hella silent on this issue. Yeah. And it's like, what were you expecting, bro? They're not famous for their critical thinking. Bam. They're like, famous for their veneers and their fake tans. Where's all this energy for MPs, your local MPs? Exactly, yeah. man. What the fuck? Obviously, obviously, we should keep influencers. They're influential people in it, and they should be held accountable if they do something dumb. Bro, what like, are they like, doing, fam? I don't like, get... like, like, for example, if they're flying off to Bali and shit in it, that's, like, they should speak on why they shouldn't do that and like set a yeah. good example on that stuff. But I, I'm not surprised they don't set a good example. Do you know what I mean? Because it's not like they're not they're not there off merit of being a good person. They're there off like how they look. And I think it's I think it's immoral for them because they know that they they're not in a they're not famous because of their views or because of uh their like exactly. um their their, think, mor- yeah. their moral standpoint. They mm. they should I think they they should have an awareness that they they shouldn't take sponsor money like this like the the sixty three k. Um, that, that's not that's not why they're famous. But if someone pays my sixty three bags to propose some dickhead thing, what do you think? What do you think man's doing, fam? Yeah, of course. I, like I don't blame them in it. Like they're getting paid a ridiculous amount of money, but like you need to have. You need, I, I think like I don't know, man. It's like it, it works in some cases though, because I could see like for example on like TikTok or something, or, like chunks. I remember at the beginning he would come on yeah. and be like, "You're my people." These are the kind of things you can do at home. Make sure you're staying home, being safe. And you can tell it's clearly like paid by like government and stuff like that for you to encourage people to stay home. I love that personally, like him yeah. reminding kids to stay home and stuff. The tracking trace is a bit, I don't know, a bit. If so it doesn't even work. To be honest, though, like I, 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 I could almost guarantee that the amount of people they were able to pay to promote this stuff, they could have found the same amount of people to promote it for free. Like people who actually believed in it. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Like what? 
you're spending money to to get these Love Island stars to promote it. Why not get, for example, Marcus Rashford? I'm sure he agrees. I, I, obviously, I'm not speaking for him, but I'm sure he agrees with lockdown rules or track and trace and whatever. I think I think the thing with that though is like those people will do it for free anyway. They never had to contact them in the first place. You get me? Yeah. Whereas so then people, why you why you, so then why are you paying anyone to do it? Probably for, probably for like to like get extra in it, but also it's like. They won't, because Rashford's obviously an influential person. He's not an influencer, if that makes sense. Yeah, but you, you get what I'm trying to say. The only reason that this is a fucking issue is because people worship fucking celebrities, fam. <laughs> yeah. that's true, that's they're, they're like they're like C class celebrities as well. <laughs> yeah. Also, I'm like not knocking them in it. Like it is, it is it's, it's an amazing hustle to be doing. Like clearly, they were born with a, like a nice face, or they bought a nice face. And they they're but making the most of it. Give man, give the Titan Titan man them sixty feet bags to promote some dickhead program, fam. I, bro, email emails in the description. Nah, but there's nah. there is one that we need to give shout out to, you know, that what's that guy, Doctor Alex, yeah, because he's actually working like in hospitals, but also promoting like oh yeah, he's, he's yeah, talking yeah. about like actual medical things, like or oh, here are some worries you might have about the vaccine. This is this is what actually happens, what doesn't happen, and like mm. I don't think I mind him getting paid to do that because he he has a big following. But he also knows what he's talking about, if that makes sense. I doubt he's getting paid. And he has a background. I think he's probably getting paid. If you ask, man, I don't know who these influencers are. If you ask, man, to like point out someone on the street that was from Love Island, bro, I I couldn't couldn't tell you, fam. Yeah, some of them have big influence, though. Like, apart from from Jack Fowler, uh, I I, I couldn't couldn't tell you, fam. Some of them, but even him, if if you're walking down the high street and you see him, like, just, I, I don't think like most I people recognize. Him, fam. I was, bro, I, yeah. I, I keep on walking, fam. Yeah, fam, even then... big, big celebrities like walking on the street, I, I probably would miss like the majority of them. What if you saw Michael Jordan? I, I, bro, I probably still wouldn't recognize him. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not even them yellow eyes, fam. Look staring at you. Fam. <laughs> like, he's gonna take it personal. <laughs> <laughs> Next documentary. Never. No, the thing is, like, they've know. got. Like celebrities have got so many lookalikes, like you'd always be questioning if it's if it's a real if it's a real person. The main issue of this week is the fucking the free school meals. Mm. Did you mind see the pictures? Bro, I saw that food. picture. Yeah. So I kept mm. seeing that same picture like over and over again. And I thought no, no, wait, so sorry. If you don't know what picture I'm talking about, it's right here. No, you can't. Oh, yeah. So yeah, <laughs> I kept seeing that picture on Twitter. And like I think I was looking at it while I was at work, so I didn't I couldn't read into it properly. So I thought it was um like that was their daily food, right? So they're getting like meals per day or whatever. And the food looked a bit crap. So I thought, okay, that's what they're complaining about. Like it's just crap food in it, and not about the amount necessarily. And then later on, I was like going through quote tweets and stuff, and one guy pointed out that this was like for the whole week here, yeah? and uh, he also worked out like the the calorie content of the whole package oh, oh yeah. the calorie content was like between two and three thousand calories right for the uh, that's for the whole that's for the whole week and uh a, like a, a developing child a primary school child they're supposed to be intaking like 1500 to 2000 calories per day so these men are feeding them 430 calories for lunch and that's it that's a stink called they know some, yeah. guy, some person on twitter yeah um, he went on the Tesco website and he added everything that, that was on the picture. I beg you, tell me how much it uh, t- added up to, please. Yeah, I think I saw it, it was like 522. Pound, it? Yeah. Bro, it was it was 613. Oh, sir. Imagine, imagine spending six pounds here yeah, for the whole week. Isn't, Bro, isn't, saw, isn't the budget that meant to be like 30 pound yeah. for 30 each child pound, as well? 30 pound a child, G. I saw another tweet where he worked it out to 522. So. Yeah, I saw that. If you do some searching, you could get it yeah, a bit cheaper. Yeah. <laughs> and there was what there's one where it was like at Waitrose as well, which is like the more bougie one. It was still work around to like six pound. Yeah. Uh, bro, bro, you right know, now, right now it's just comical at this point now, fam. Yeah, but you know the the problem is, um, like obviously if you're a catering company, which is what this company was. Yeah. You as a business, like obviously yeah. you you have a responsibility to be moral as well. But as a business, the first thing you're thinking about is profit in it. So yeah. if you're handed a contract, I don't blame the catering company. The, if you're handed a contract, close friends with the Tory government. Yeah, yeah. But the thing is, if you're handed a contract for thirty pound per child, and you can deliver food less than five less than five pounds, 
but it still fits the criteria set by the government, of course mm-hmm. you're going to do that. Do you know what I mean? So the problem yeah, isn't yeah. the catering company. The problem was the standard set up by the government. Yeah, like yeah, I was yeah. chatting to my mum about it and um, she was saying like the, the food that they actually gave, like if you look at the guidelines that the government uh, put out for, for the free school meals, like it fits it perfectly. Like yeah. it, everything they provided fits the criteria that the government set out there initially. So yeah, the, the problem is, is, is the, the, the criteria that the government set for the free school meals. It wasn't the catering company's fault. Although the catering company has some responsibility, it, it, they're only doing what they're doing as a business. You know how cheeky that is for the mm. like for the government like after Marcus Rashford made it big and if, like put it out there and all the, everyone on Twitter spread it around for Boris Johnson to come out and say yes yeah, unacceptable I don't know how this has happened but then the guidelines get released and at, at certain points the caterers gave more than the guidelines even recommended and yeah came out the like guidelines that. they were supposed to it's it's like something like you're you're supposed to so they're not supposed to provide like a ready meal like a, a hot meal or anything they're just supposed to provide things that you can create a meal with. And it's one single meal per day, you know, for lunch. Like I said, I was chatting to my mum and she, she, she brought up like, so a lot of people who are struggling, who are going to be on free school meals, they're not necessarily people who can pay for electricity and gas to cook these meals. They're not necessarily people who even have a kitchen. Like they may live in like a hostel, for example, mm, yeah. or um, like they sent out like tins of beans and stuff. Not everybody has a can opener. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like yeah, things yeah, as yeah. simple no, as that. Real, yeah, hundred percent. Like, and that yeah I, I i didn't even i didn't even think about this and then i was trying to my mom about it and she was like yeah like it's, it's it's crazy but again it's not the catering company's fault like they're they're giving the food that the government asked for it's the government's fault for not setting out the the, the guidelines properly well fam come on fam it get probably it gets to a point yeah where right now they're just trying to violate man fam from 30 slugs to six pounds fam and that's if you're yeah. pushing it and yeah. do you see all the replies would like because like Morrison's they um um they provide like a, a thirty pound like f- uh, food parcel and stuff. Like yeah. do you see the amount of food that comes in it, <laughs> bro? It's, it's mad, mad. Like. Yeah, it's it's, it's, it's like so a sh- it's like a, for a whole family as well. It even yeah, says man. like family f- food parcel or whatever. Yeah, bro, it, it literally looks like someone yeah. went to like Whole Foods and took a picture of the outside stalls or something, fam. Yeah, man. This and, is um, this, this is the um what they what they said. Yeah, so. You lot tell me if this if this is enough for a, 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 a growing human to mm. eat in the space of like, I don't know, was it five days or something or 10 days? Five, five days, yeah. Five days, yeah. So yeah. one loaf of bread, two potatoes, three tomatoes, five portions of fruit. Are you meant to get five a day? Yeah. yeah. And you're telling me you gave them one, one each day? Crazy. But, but their uh, excuse is, oh, it's only supposed to be for lunch. Oh, I see. That's, I see. that's why they're allowed to... Three portions, yeah. yeah, but even even for lunch, surely like two or three, and then you have one yeah, for breakfast, one for the dinner. thing is, yeah, the, the problem is, yeah, you know, even though this, like, you'll see so many apologists on Twitter, um, mm. like saying, oh, this is only supposed to be lunch. Why are people asking for so much? The thing is, people on, like, people in low-income families, they rely on free school meals for their like single meal of the day. Yeah, like, they yeah. can't necessarily um, afford breakfast and dinner, so th- their only meal is going to be at school. Yeah. So you're That's... you're expecting these people to live off. 430 calories a day for however many weeks a holiday lasts for. It's crazy, crazy man. Crazy. Free... And these are supposed to be children that are, sorry, I was... No, no, go on, go on. <laughs> Dude, go on. These are go like on. young children who are developing, their brains are still developing, they need the calories to, for, for that to happen. It's crazy, man. I, yeah, I, man. I, I don't know how, I don't even know how people can begin to argue the opposite side, if that makes sense. Bro, I don't understand. People are arguing against people getting more food. I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> Is, is, and the, wor- the is worst that, is thing that, is, is yeah. that what we're at now, fam? People are arguing against people getting food. That's not even not, not, not even just people, like little kids as well. Exactly, yeah. fam. Oh, bro, it makes no sense. And the worst thing is, like, it's it's not like you're the taxpayer is already paying towards that thirty pound. The thirty pound is, the money is already gone from it's your bank. It's gonna be gone anyway. Yeah. But the thing is, the kids aren't getting that value for money of what you gave. So surely you should be angry as well, because you you're trying to help out you're, your fellow yeah. citizens, and you're they're being shortchanged by the middleman or whatever it is. And yeah, yeah so it's like three cheese portions, um, one tin of baked beans for the whole week, um, three individual serving yogurt pots, one cucumber, one tin sweet corn, one bottle of milk, and one tin of meat. Of what? Um, meat? Yeah, tin meat. of meat? How are you eating tin meat? That's mad. Bro, that's not even that. But did you see that picture of tuna 
in a money bag. Oh, I saw that. <laughs> in a money bag. Wait, 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 wait. I, wait, wait, I don't wait, even wait. know if I can personally laugh at you. Know how disgusting stop. that is. Yes, stop, 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 stop. Tuna in a money bag. You know the ones you, you know send off to the, the bank. Bags. The coin bag. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. The ones where you like, like fold it over and it, like you tuck it in. Bro, you know how unhygienic that is. Crazy man. You Bro, might you as well give it to them on the floor. Bro, surely there should be a purge or something, fam. Come on, man. <laughs> I'm, just to, I'm just trying to get the, 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 the podcast <laughs> like shut down for inciting a riot or some shit like that. I don't you mind know inciting the, a riot, fam. You know all these people on Twitter being like, uh, I, I, I wouldn't write it, but you know, I, I can understand if people would. You got to be careful with the word. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You can get put in pen. I'm not saying to write it, but... <laughs> no, wink, wink. Right. <laughs> you got to be careful, man. These, these yeah, ga- yeah like guys, don't write it. Yeah. Did you, did you see? This is a bit of a, like a divergence, isn't it? But um, I don't know if you guys saw in Cardiff um, that one Somali brother got killed by the police. Oh, I heard just, about this. No, nah, yeah. he got beat up in custody. And yeah. He died because of the injuries. Yeah, he died from... I think his name's... killed, but it was... I, I don't know if it's Mohammed Hassan or Mah- Mahmoud Hassan. Um, I think it's Mohammed... His name is Mohammed Mohammed Hassan, I think. Yeah, Mohammed Hassan. Um, what was I going to say? There was something you said before that reminded me of that. Who, me? Nah, AB. Yeah. What, the riots? The riots, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, the person who organised the protest for his, like, the protest at the police station, like, give us some answers. Because, they, you know, they, they hid the body cam. They didn't release the body cam. They think they discarded it or something. And mm. they, they're refusing to give, like, details of the full like, autopsy in it. Um, the girl who, like... Organized the protest. <coughs> Sorry, organized the protest. You know, like three police vans and riot police turned up to the house and like banged on the door and find her like a hell of money. Find Just, her. Yeah, for organized and they turned up to her yard with like three police vans or some shit like that. Do you know how crazy that is? Oh, well, she's a fam. You know what? Fuck it. If there's a GoFundMe for that girl, yeah, I'll donate to that. I'll donate to that thing. I think there know. there is. They they paid it. They paid the fine off already, and now any extra money goes to. The funeral cost of the the boy. Yeah, fuck it. So the fifty would go to your brethren's yard. And yeah. We go to, to. Yeah, that's calm. To my brother's house. Yeah. yeah. Gotta help the peoples out there, man. <laughs> but fam, it's mad. Like, like, see us here. Like, cool. We just spoke about it, yeah. But one youth's life is gone, fam. Like, mm. all the shit that he wanted to accomplish, like his parents, like, like everything that he wanted to do, like, is it? Is it? How old was he? Do you know how old he was? I think 20s. I'm not too sure. 20s. Bro. Young, young 20s man, though. Like around man, man, even, man even, ain't even lived life, bro. Man, it's crazy like, as well. And look, and, but look, but it's so fucked, yeah? Like even us, man, we're going to talk about it and then that's it. Mm-hmm. Now, obviously, like, we, obviously like, we're going to donate and like, whatever, yeah? But that's it, bro. Like, but a fed killed killed someone and no one's... Like, who, who, who's talking about it, bro? 24, bro. Literally the same age as us. 24, but imagine, imagine, like, imagine, like, one of us uh, getting fucked up by the police and dying. And the probably the, the toughest thing for his family as well is like, he, he's passed away and there's no answers in it. They just, they just, the police are just imagine, like, oh, he's he's gone. That's it. Imagine he's he's like he's one of like the the highest like um, earners in the household. Like they were relying heavily on yeah on, on, on the brother yeah. yeah. And now now what? Now, like, do you know what I'm saying? That's that's like. That's just one of like it's just an example. Do you know what I'm saying? Obviously, there's other things. That's yeah. that's a man's son, other whatever. Like you know what yeah. Mm. But, but, but imagine imagine that, imagine the family becomes fucking I don't know if I'm like it's fucked, man. They depend on him. Yeah. And at the end of the day, that's a, that's a that's a whole human being that there's exactly life, life lost, no answers or anything. Apparently, apparently, well, obviously, I can't I can't say for sure. Um, but people at the I know some people that went to the protest in it. They were saying there was a couple of feds like laughing at the protesters and like saying random shit to them. How crazy that is. You can't be surprised though. Like that's the world we live in now. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Uh, mm. sadly, but you, it's something you you've got to expect. Cause it, it makes no sense. Like obviously when when things like that happen, yeah, then the obviously the goes on the news, goes onto Twitter, and you get this like group of people who go on Twitter and say like, oh, but what did he do to make the police angry? What oh. situation is there that, mm. a, like, basically a boy, a young man, should die because of that situation? Yeah. 
and I, and I saw the charge it was something like disturbance of the peace there's no disturbance of the peace that is that is warranting a death sentence like how can you justify that how can you come with that question like but well, what did he do to justify like, no, that like no one needs feds he probably he probably was playing ball like on a, on a block of flats or something fam even if he did do something worth the death penalty there's still a process you've got to go through you still got to be like convicted and charged and mm. face a jury and everything do you know what I mean? it, you... it can't be up to the police to to execute that judgment on like a side note here what do you guys think of the death sentence like death um I I would I I say I agree with it for some crimes definitely like pedophilia, uh, where, but the thing is you, it's 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 a very tricky one because you can say you agree with the death penalty but I there's a caveat because I agree with it when it's implemented correctly and like it's got yeah. a the person has to be like you have to be one hundred percent sure that the person committed it because obviously there's, there's been uh, examples in the past where people have been put to death and you know they obviously they were they were innocent. Um, uh, ultimately but yeah if if 100 percent you can um uh ascertain that the person was guilty of the crime and if it was a crime like pedophilia or rape uh, probably not rape i'd say pedophilia definitely mm-hmm. uh or murdering someone else uh yeah i i, I agree with it i can't lie i can't lie i don't think i agree with definitely you know because i feel like for me i always look at it like what do I see the prison sentence system or the justice system as? Do I see it as like retribution or do I see it as, um, what's the other one? Rehabilitation in it, like into society. And I, obviously, I get what you mean. The one mm. where the one where I'm like, I don't know if I agree with it or not, is 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 um, pedophilia, because that one I don't mm. I don't know if you can be re- rehabilitated from that. Well, there's yeah. some crimes you can't be rehabilitated rehabilitated from, and those are the crimes that that, that I think should be punished with death. So. Yeah. Like if you're a serial killer, yeah, and like with no, uh, no uh, motive, it's just uh, like untargeted, yeah. like an mo kind of thing. Yeah, no, no reason behind it. You're just like sick in the head. Like yeah. th- there's no rehabilitating people like that. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Yeah. And to to house them in a prison, that just costs the taxpayer so much money. You yeah. might as well like, do you know what I mean? Like yeah, yeah. I feel like I I'm kind of I'm kind of naive in that sense. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Like I always think there's there might always be a chance. You, you know but I mean? you have to face the reality sometimes. Like there's just some people who are just messed up from from the jump in it. Yeah, I think I think personally, especially in like countries like America and stuff, I think the yeah. the death penalty leaves too much room for error. As you were that's saying that before, you have to be like you have to be hundred percent sure that they, they it, it comes like it comes with the condition that it is like implemented properly. Mm. Um, and of course, in the real world, that is very, very hard to do. So, you know, if if I think about it, like realistically, Practically. in any society that we have today, if like if I was ruling a society today, yeah. it would be very, very difficult for me to implement it because it's so hard to to yeah. control. Uh, so, yeah, yeah I, I probably wouldn't even have that in my society because. Yeah, that's what I, I think. If, if I was at if I was at the king, I don't think I'd have the death penalty. You know, I just feel like it's yeah. it's too it's too final. If that makes sense, in my what in if, my opinion. What if you were able to? So let's say you ruled this nation or whatever, and mm. you were able to one hundred percent. So there, there's a pedophile, one hundred percent sure he's a pedophile. He's molested kids, whatever. He's raped kids. Um, like see, would see, you? With, with pedophilia, is different. Pedophilia is the one where like, because I work with kids in it. And that's what would, I'm saying. That's... It would it would it would kill me to see anything bad happen to them. Yeah. So that's the one where like my emotions come into play, and I'm like, yo, fuck this person. That but that's person why I'm using dying. it because it's such a heinous crime, isn't it? Oh man, oh, it's tough, isn't it? I, I think generally I don't I don't agree with the definite. It's too it's too final. But with pedophilia, it's it's difficult to say no if that makes sense. I don't think you can rehabilitate a pedophile. No way. I don't think. Personally, I don't think I would want to rehabilitate a pedophile. Yeah. Um, well, do you know what? I think a, a realistic um, uh, solution. I was going to say a, a realistic uh, solution to, for example, pedophilia. Yeah. If you if you're totally against death penalty, is castration, like either I like the dick f- off. actual physical castration or chemical castration. Yeah. What's what's chemical castration? Uh, they take drugs to like suppress the testosterone drive. levels, so they have oh, no okay. sexual drive. Yeah. Oh, I see. So apparently that's what happened to uh, Michael Jackson to make his um, voice high pitched. 
to it. I wouldn't apparently. be surprised. Apparently, apparently. <laughs> but that didn't do a, anything he, to his sexual a, drive, though, because he used to touch kids. That's the... Apparently, no. He got, he got found not guilty of that, so... So, yeah. Uh, he had a very good legal team. OJ got found not guilty of killing his <laughs> wife, but he, he, did, he did that shit. Yeah. No, he's innocent. OJ's innocent, man. Uh, uh. Uh, yeah, so, so Kyojin, would you agree with um, castration rather than death penalty? Yeah, because castration is not so final. Do you know what I mean? In terms of pedophilia. But the thing is, I think personally, taking my personal feelings into it, I, could, I couldn't say no to the death penalty in that case. But like speaking objectively, I think the death penalty is too final for like everything. Do you know what I mean? Because nobody has a chance of redemption. And I know obviously in those cases, you don't want them to have a chance of redemption. Um, yeah. But it's, it's tough, isn't it? Like it's a, it's a, I'm glad I don't have to make these decisions, to be honest. But then, of course, we're talking in, in terms of um, no, being in a, to- in a totally secular society. Because, yeah, obviously, yeah, yeah, yeah. If, we, if we talk about personal views, then religion comes into it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, then I can't argue against what is there. If it's written, it's yeah. written. And it? like, yeah. follow the law of the land. And, but obviously, uh, I understand that this, in this conversation, we're talking in secular. Yeah, yeah. What about you, AB? Do, Not, do you... Bro, you've been having stinkers, you know. It's because I'm, you... I'm getting into the conversation too much here. I'm letting my guard down, fam. I was going to say, do you... In any, um, like, for any crime, would you agree with the death penalty? Or what crimes would you agree uh, with? Rapist, penalty? rapist, and pedophiles. What about murderers? Murder can be justified no. though sometimes. No, no, no. Yeah. And, and, like I said before, unjustified murder. Oh. Unjustified like, murder, yeah, cool. But if, if it's justified, like, I don't know, if someone, like, I don't know, I don't know. I, I don't no, know. of course, if it's like make... self-defense, I'm not advocating for the death penalty for that person. You know what I'm, saying? I'm smoking, bro. If it, if yeah, it, yeah, yeah. I'm smoking <laughs> anyone for self-defense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. I agree. But that's the form of. Uh, so th- 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 that's the thing, though. Like you know, you said the death penalty is too final. Yeah. Yeah. But you could, in a way, you can implement the death penalty, like in a situation where you're using self-defense, because yeah, you know, so you have to kill someone to defend yourself. Is that a kill or be killed? That's that's basically the death penalty. No, but that's def- that's self so would defense. You ag- would, would you agree with not killing somebody in self defense? No, that's dumb, fam. Yeah, because no, it's not. Why let, me, it's let me explain to you. So, this person has committed this crime, they killed someone, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. At that point, you've caught them, you put them in handcuffs, yeah? And you physically know that they're in a facility where they can't kill anyone. Yeah. So, there's no danger of anybody else dying. Yes, the person died. Can. No, I'm speaking like in a proper like system, innit? Yeah, I'm not talking about yeah. this rebore, like prison sentence that we have that is only for retribution and not for rehabilitation I don't fuck with that to be honest so I think I think crime has to be viewed in a way where yeah, it's, it's tricky it because like pedoph- pedophilia is like things like you can't you can't there's no really justification for that innit? but things like murder but then but then you're saying that drug dealing by saying that you're like kind of justifying any other crime no, but I can see I can see what leads to those crimes, if that makes sense. There's a difference in like, do you know what I mean? Like there's there's socioeconomic reasons why certain people fall into certain crimes sometimes. And I don't mean like demographics or anything like that. I mean like specific people have certain like yeah. environmental issues or like um, socioeconomic background that, that forces them into certain things that happen in life. Like there's, we've all done things that we regret in life. Yeah. And for some people, it, these, they're bigger regrets that they can't, avoid or they could have avoided but they made the wrong choice in a certain situation but i i would never argue this but somebody could argue that the same thing could be said for pedophiles no that's that's bro yeah because like a lot of um pedophiles say like oh that's that's their sexuality and stuff like that yeah yeah wait what there's a lot of people that not a lot of people that argue that but there's people who argue they, that on the internet they argue that they they want to be part of like the lgbtq plus uh, community because they that's one of their that's their, their they identify as uh, like uh, yeah they, they they see it as like that's what i'm attracted to so like why can yeah. you but yeah children well, this, children this, can't this shit has gone shit. too far that's what this i'm saying though. it's gone too far man it's it's difficult to um it's difficult to argue objectively because then it becomes a matter of like objective and subjective morality because mm. I, th- I think in general though like especially when like issues like this people always ignore nuance and stuff like that and th- yeah. that's, that's, that's that's one of the reasons why i wouldn't go for the death penalty because no, 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 there's no, so much nuance no, between no. everyone's life 
that leads them to the certain things that happens in life. And yeah, obviously, so, I'm, not, I'm not, not for pedophilia, though. Pedophilia. Yeah. Like, well, but it, it, could, it, could, it could still be argued. But, but yeah, I get what you're saying. So that would be against the, like a, a blanket death penalty, yeah? For like, yeah. let's say all murderers get the death penalty. So mm. what about if you look at it on a case-by-case basis? I think, it's again, it's tricky because like you can end up with shitty judges. You know what I mean? You could end up with, like, you could keep ending up with a shitty appeal, shitty appeal. Yeah, shitty but bro, appeal. bro, you could say the same for a, a pedophile case. No, 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 no. Like, that's, that's what I'm saying. Like, you have to be that's consistent. Different, bro. That's different. It's not, how is it different? I don't, I don't think you have to be cons- I'm consistent. I'm not saying the crimes are the same, but I'm saying yeah. you could have a shitty judge for both. And then the, you could argue, oh, he was a shitty judge. He wasn't actually a pedophile. No, but in terms of, in terms of, like, for pedi- pedophilia, yeah. I could argue for a blanket um, death sentence. Do you know what I mean? Right. Whereas, as you, if you said in murder, it would be case by case. I can't yeah. argue for the stability of the justice system for a case by case system, if that makes sense. Because black for a blanket system, mm. you can have shit judges and it will be fine. Because at the end of the day, they got what was coming to them. Do you know what I mean? I'm talking about, I'm talking yeah. about shit judges in terms of sentencing, not in terms of... Uh, um, Actually, whether they're guilty or not, not that, not that I'm talking about in terms of sentencing, in terms of deciding what sentence they get. Okay, all right, yeah, you know I, mean? I get what you mean. Yeah, because yeah. you could end up with like a, a judge on a bad day. Yeah. Obviously, there'll be like procedures in place to avoid that, but you never know, man. I just feel like it's too final. It's too. It's too much. You know what I mean, mm. I mean, I we're, fuck we're... that man, that, that man, fuck that man, fuck them too. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, th- I think my, my, my closing remark on that is pedophiles 100% deserve the death penalty. Uh, yeah. Uh, and that's that's one thing I'm sure about. In yeah, terms of other crimes for death penalty, that's something that you can... Uh, rapists, rapists as well. Rapists as well. And say, like, any sexual I think, assault. I think that's the other thing. I don't think the justice system is is deals with rape good enough. Do you know what I mean? From both sides as well. I mean, like, from the victim side... Themselves. And, and the accused side as well They don't deal with it enough And obviously I, I don't want to like I don't want to come up with rape apologist uh, yeah. Arguments in it You know people say stuff like Oh yeah, half the people are innocent I don't want to feed into that in it. Yeah. But then if, if there's even like a 1% chance of like un- Uncertainty Then I wouldn't want the death penalty to be a, To be in play with that Yeah I mean? it's, it's the whole issue of Like consent and withdrawing consent after yeah. the fact as well like i feel that's that's where like sometimes it they mess up in it like someone can get convicted for for having a normal sexual relationship with somebody and you know, consent is withdrawn it. after and it's yeah. like that's mad yeah yeah but those with those ones is sticky because they do happen like but it's it's important to not like downplay other other cases of other. course of course yeah, yeah, yeah. of course yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and i think the I think because of that uncertainty, like even if it was zero point five percent uncertainty, you could yeah. never have the death penalty as as a choice in that situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is uh, which is why I said like if if in an ideal society where you can one hundred percent say this person committed this crime, then yes, yes, I would agree with the death penalty. Do you know what I think it is as well with you see with like rape here yeah? or yeah. trigger warning as well? By the way, like this kind of sensitive topic for people who have been through like certain issues yeah. and stuff in it. Um, I think a lot of the time, I don't know. I don't know if you guys agree with me on this, yeah. But what do you think about this? I think conservatism in families often leads to people not knowing what they should and shouldn't do in intimate situations, and like what's okay and what isn't okay. Do you know what I mean? I'm not talking. About, I'm not talking about like being shameful and like putting everything out there. But there's a lack of conversation of like this is how you communicate. I don't agree with person. that. Do you not I think so? Agree. Because it gives people an excuse. Um, I would say. Like, like, for example, myself, I, I'd yeah. say my family is pretty conservative. Yeah. Um, it, like, religiously. Like, yeah, we're yeah. not Tories, all right? We're not Tories. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I'm I'm still fully aware of, like, yeah, yeah. boundaries and limits and stuff. Like, I, I, you can have a, a sheltered family life, but if you go to a school in the UK mm. where you have friends who talk about this stuff, where mm. you're, you're, you're... Yeah, it's... I, I think that's... That, that is... Um, a very easy is- escape that people can use that oh, I-, I lived a sheltered life I didn't learn about yeah. this stuff no, now, I, would, I, would, I wouldn't say it as an excuse but I would say like for example you knowing you personally I mm-hmm. think you have good like a good moral compass do you know what I mean 
I'm talking about people who like live in a sheltered, conservative like upbringing, and then they hear things from other people. Like for example, you know you're saying you hear things from when you go to school, yeah, your friends. Mm. Who's to say those friends are giving you the right advice? Do you know what I mean? I'm not saying with you personally, by the way. I'm saying like yeah. in a, in general, like people who go out to like school and learn these things from school, but not even from teachers. They learn it from other like boys or something, and they'll like pick up on ideas that they probably shouldn't. And then I mean specifically as well those people who came from a conservative background, and then they but they're not conservative themselves. Like they kind of reject. So wait, what's what's the question? Is it are you saying uh, growing up in a conservative household is an excuse for people crossing these boundaries? No, 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 no. It's not an excuse. Right, does does it have an influence? I think a lack of education and a lack of discussion about these things leads to people not knowing. I don't know how to word this. Because so. I know. So basically, he's, not, so basically yeah, it's not an excuse without, at all. Without someone, without someone like guiding you, it's easy for someone to not know what is wrong or right. I wouldn't say, I wouldn't nah. say wrong. Or, I wouldn't say wrong or not right. Easy, yeah. Not easy. Uh, not easier, but easier because there's. Cause like, uh, like, like let's be, let's be like let's be clear yeah like a lot of, a lot of youths can be influenced by like I don't know like porn or like what their brothers think mm. is that like, cool like do you know what I'm saying and then that, that's, that's kind that's kind of like what I'm saying this, yeah. this is the norm so they would think so these youths would think that the bro a lot of these kids yeah all the way up until like I would say twenty or something they're so impressionable like they could they can easily be guided to whatever way yeah so it's easy for you to be to think that certain thing is the norm like i don't yeah. know yeah but yeah. bro I don't, I, think, I, I don't know an example i think you've got to be a dunce to allow like friends know, or I like, think, like, bro, like you more impressive than you bro, think you you just get groomed here yeah, to go to country you know and do your madness like do you know what i'm saying yeah but bro that doesn't mean that they believe that uh uh drug dealing is is, is a good thing obviously they still they, no, they, they still believe they're doing something wrong. There's, there's people bro, that do, man. There's people that they, do. They, they, bro, ah, come can, on, can, come off it, man. Bro, now, ads, there's people that can easily justify drug dealing. They can say, oh, yeah, my mom's lost her job. There's nothing out there for me to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My they oldest, might be my oldest they, do this. My oldest do they, this. This is all yeah, my yeah. nose. They what might I'm be saying? forced into yeah. it, but I don't think anybody would agree that even if you're forced into it, it's still not a moral thing to do. I don't know. I think and I, I don't think you can ever say it's a moral thing to do. I think there are people that would people admit more. Th- me and you can say that. But no, I'm like, not people... saying. I'm not saying they're not forced into it to pay bills. You can be forced into it to pay bills, but you can still realize that what you're doing is not moral. No, but I'm saying that people can justify it. Do you understand what I'm saying? Bro, me, if you, you rob a bank you to pay bills, you still know robbing a bank is wrong. Bro, it's different, fam. Uh, yeah, but I get where he's coming from. He kind of, he, he kind of like, uh, yeah. AB what did, I'm like, saying is that you can do the action, you can understand that the action is wrong, but you're still doing the action to justify. I don't, the, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't mean like full on thing, by the way, like rape, by the way. Yeah. I mean like the lines where communication, you know, when you're yeah. saying like withdrawing consent and stuff like that. Yeah. The lines where I'm speaking specifically where communication isn't, the communication isn't there. Do you know what I mean? They don't know where to draw the line and, 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 and not, not, uh, even, not even the drawing the line, but like, if if you see certain things from like movies and like what AB was saying, like adult movies and stuff like that, yeah, you will get an idea that this is the way something is, and therefore this is okay for me to do in real life. Like you know I mean? it could be something. It could be something so simple as like a girl coming to your crib, like. But in like it could be it could, it could well, be people, some, something. People think like girl coming to your crib, yeah, could mean that oh yeah, this she only wants do you want to give her the crutches. Exactly. But yeah. She could just want to just chill, but in a youth's mind. Like obviously, they, they, like a, a lot of youth man could just think, "Yo, this girl's coming to my yard. There's no reason. There's no other reason for her to come to my yard." Yeah, but unless girl, unless that's want happening. To keep it up. Yeah, this makes. They, I feel like this gives them an excuse, though. No, no, no not to give them, not to give them no, an excuse. No, 100%, it doesn't. Though. Yeah. I'm saying, I'm saying, no, no, no. I'm saying this is what influences them. Do you know? I'm saying yeah. that this isn't an excuse. I'm saying, yeah. I'm saying for people to be aware of like and do better. Yeah. Like if someone, if a girl does come to, over to your crib, it doesn't mean that she wants to give it up. It could just mean that she just wants to chill. You understand know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, because a lot of these useful thing, a girl coming to your crib means it only means one thing, but that's not the case. So I'm, I'm telling, I'm, I'm basically explaining that why people will think that is the case and why it's not. You yeah, know what I'm saying? That, yeah. When I when it's I say like, it. when I when I say oh, like, well, come on, what do you think I am? Yeah. I, don't know. <laughs> I, feel, I, I feel like damn. 
we get we get paint, painted as apologists, you know. No, no, joking, no, no, joking, no, no, joking. no. What no, what I'm saying is there's there's yeah. so you've got the kids who you're talking about, but there's there's kids who are exposed to exactly the same thing, mm-hmm. who know where 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 to draw the line and what boundaries you cannot cross. People, you know what I mean? people receive. Oh, but that's um, bro. That's people like receive saying, in, that's like, like compute information yeah. in different ways, though. Do you know what I mean? Bro, that's not saying you can give everyone a hundred pound, yeah, and they'll and expect everyone to spend it the same way. Yeah. What what, 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 I'm so try, everyone, what I'm trying to say yeah. Be, no, well, everyone could be given the same information, but it just depends how they apply it and take it in. Yeah. What, yeah. I'm, what I'm trying to say is like I, f- I feel like personally, the main the main issue with not I'm not talking about full out, like you know the ones where you know you're wrong and hundred percent you're wrong. Yeah. I was also sort of going off what you said about people like withdrawing consent and stuff like that, yeah. Mm-hmm. The re- only reason why those ones happen where people where girls might like withdraw consent afterwards is because the guy did not communicate enough properly in the beginning do you know what I mean if yeah. he communicated like fully like are you okay with this uh, is this all right do you I must like, say do you want this yeah I that's said where the before, issue comes I said before like withdrawing consent oh that's mad I didn't mean withdrawing consent is mad what I meant was like if you consent the act happens and then you withdraw yeah. consent afterwards that's what yeah yeah, yeah 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 so yeah. Withdra- yeah. i'm i'm all for withdrawing consent yeah, like before yeah, yeah, anything yeah. happens no no no, no, so no, no. Don't, i'm, not, I'm don't. not saying you not saying you many yeah. in, like during the act yeah. i mean like even when they like, no, i'm saying for the if, listeners don't don't yeah, misquote yeah. me please <laughs> yeah i feel like we have to say this like five million times guys we are not rape yeah. at all yeah. like it is 100%. wrong bro i agree with the death penalty for rapists let's just make that clear <laughs> 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 yeah but that's what that's what i'm saying i feel like you know when when a when a girl withdraws consent like let's say two weeks after yours yeah a lot of people wait hold come... on wait wait, wait 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 hold on hold on one second what do you mean yeah. a girl withdraw consent afterwards yeah it happens what? it happens the act is already done yeah no, yeah, but, yeah, yeah no but what you have to understand yeah the reason why i think that happens is yeah is because i don't think that ever happens without the girl like being doubtful in the first place and the community yeah they're pressured made. into it yeah of course yeah. That's that's what I'm trying to say. Well, I think I think that lack of education leads to like a lack of communication, where people will blame the girl for withdrawing consent. Not you. I'm saying like people like online and stuff in it. Yeah. But what they realize is the guy did not communicate properly in that situation, and that cu- that starts from having like a good education based on these things. So you're saying the initial consent was wasn't. It wasn't it was clarified. It wasn't okay. clarified and set in stone. And if you don't yeah. do that, which most people don't, because you know, like a lot of people, a lot of girls will say, oh, it's, it's not attractive when a, when a guy asks, can I kiss you and stuff? Fuck that. Yeah. I don't care if it's attractive or not. I, I'm going to need a written permission. <laughs> I'm going to need a permission <laughs> slip, fam. Yeah. And, For look, real, from I'm, your I'm parents. I'm not even saying that to like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, and not even to like, two <laughs> not even to like gaslight people's experiences, but I mean it seriously. Like, they need to, like, everybody needs to be more careful for themselves and make sure those situations yeah. don't happen. But obviously, in terms of like like rape, I don't know where we're going with this from. How did, yeah, we, how, how, from how did we get onto it? We started talking about the death penalty. I didn't even know how we know, how we got onto the death penalty. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave one remark and we'll, we'll, we'll get on from it. Yeah. 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 We don't agree with rape. It's disgusting. And families and parents start not from not from young. I'm not saying like six year olds should know about what sex is and stuff. Yeah. But I think yeah. families should educate their children on like what is appropriate what your body parts are, what people should not be able to like, what boundaries people should not be able to cross with you and what yeah. boundaries you shouldn't cross with other people. Yeah, I think also, also that goes for, going, that goes for, go on, go on. I was going to say going off that, it, it, like I agree with that. It doesn't even have to be like an explicit conversation. You, mm. you can lead by example in it. Like, you, like, like I was saying, I grew up in a conservative household. I w- I've never had this conversation with my parents, but I was still taught like through examples and through just knowing how like my, my family my family is how my uh, my elder siblings are that, that this is how you act in it mm. but your family uh, are good but though that's, so that's the, but that's what i'm saying you, like, everyone you, has, you can't everyone always has. Re- rely on a good example because you're in the, yeah. your case your family are a good example no, but that's what i'm saying you said uh, families need to have these conversations with their kids but what i'm saying is it didn't have to necessarily be an explicit conversation it mm. can literally just be leading by example mm. I agree. But then there's, because there's some... because in a conservative household, those conversations are awkward. That's 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 the issue that I have personally, because I'm sure the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi would have spoken to his children about, like the rulings on these things, right? That would have been a conversation that, that. Okay, we I can't I don't want to say anything <laughs> we about, can't like, say yeah, yeah, research in it yeah, but <laughs> I'm 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 willing to not not bet it's haram yeah, but I'm willing to stake that 
the Prophet mm-hmm. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, as somebody who spoke the truth and spoke haqqa at all times, would have spoken about certain things with his like, with his with his children and said, "This is how these things go. This is how these things go." And I'm not I'm not talking about literally explaining the birds and the bees like they do in American movies here. I'm yeah. talking about right telling your kids what is accept what is acceptable, what are the boundaries, how to act in a certain situation. Do you know what I mean? I yeah, I'm not disagreeing with you. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. yeah going off the 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 point about Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, like his uh, like the the majority of the Sunnah is based on his his example, not necessarily mm. what he said. Do you know what I mean? So I think examples like examples and good behavior is a, a very very big um, like portion of educating kids about these things. Yeah, no, I agree. I agree. But I think also again, you're somebody who can pick up on good example. Not all kids can do that. Yeah, not not every kid has that mental capacity. Capacity. Yeah, I'm just built different, bro. <laughs> <laughs> when the world's ending, I'm just built different. <laughs> For real. <laughs> uh, closing remarks. I feel like sex education is key and guys communicate please and uh st- stop taking no as you can convince me that's a good one i saw that quote the other day you know yeah well yeah Co- coercion is not consent yeah so no, there's someone who post- quoted a tweet saying uh posted a tweet saying uh no does not mean convince me something like that so just remember right. that guys My, i might start a new Mind section them, called uh kyojin quotes you know yeah, but it wasn't your quote. Just don't <laughs> do that. You always like copyright, man. I got a good quote for you guys. You know, go on. It's very. I always come with the negative in it, but I got a positive one for you guys. Yeah. You want to hear it? Yeah. Let me let me find it. <laughs> imagine, imagine when he said, "Do you want to hear it?" Me and you just go, <laughs> "No." <laughs> <laughs> uh, some somebody tweeted, yeah. It's not. It's not. It's, not a, it's a Kyojin found quote. It's not a Kyojin quote, you know. It's plagiarizing, man. They said some of you. I'll, 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 I'll say that it's the, that is underscore stars of brief. Yeah, they said some of you don't even realize how you light up rooms and inspire people just by being you. You're literally magnetic, and you don't even realize it. Saying you're welcome. <laughs> Back to like that, that, that. That ain't getting edited out. <laughs> <laughs> it'll, it'll be it'll be there in the the audio version. Don't worry. <laughs> it won't be in the visuals. <laughs> Can you imagine if the episodes, like the, the visual episodes and the, the audio episodes, just become so different? It's like one side is Kyojin cusses. One imagine side the visuals, it's just more aimed at cussing you, and the audio is more aimed at cussing <laughs> you. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised, you know. Now, nah, but I, I'll leave it, I'll leave in any cusses towards me. Don't worry, man. I've left, I left in, bro, I left in so many cusses, bro. 90% of this podcast is cusses towards me, fam. Oh, uh, you know one of the questions. One of the questions we asked just last week here yeah, was about like, would you, would you let, would you, what do you think about guys and girls being friends in it? Yeah. And I said that's calm, and we spoke about like our partners and stuff. Yeah. So yeah. Like, would I let my wife have guy friends? I was like, yeah, if they're friends before, and I would have yeah. my friends from before as well. I have, I have like a condition though that I didn't mention last week. My God. wife can't be friends with any of you guys. Like none of my friends that I know what? personally can't be nah, friends with you guys. I'm not right? having that. I'm not having nah, that. Nah. <laughs> that's Listen, the one. That's the one type got, of guy friend. You that gotta I, stay I consistent. Allow. You gotta stay nah, consistent. Nah, nah. If if I don't know them, it's calm, yeah. But I can't have the nah, man that making a laugh, fam. Fam, you would rather not know them. Yeah, uh, no, nah, I'd rather than mad. be. I'd rather than be pre-existing and away from my eyesight. You know what if someone that we all know? Yeah. It, it won't be with someone you will know. And you, then I would have wiped them. And then, all, and then... you you. <laughs> so it's not going to be someone you will know because I would have wiped them by now. Yeah, that's crazy, man. Yeah, man. I thought, I thought kind of hurt. Not especially, that I want to be friends with you. Especially like. Probably. Especially because AB, yeah, I can't, can't trust that guy, fam. <laughs> can't trust that what? guy at all. Can't trust that guy at all. Bro, after all, all everything that we've been through, you demon. That's getting edited out. It's not getting yeah, edited out at all, <laughs> fam. <laughs> Shall I tell you guys what he did? No, I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, no one can ever, ever, ever say that about me, fam. Not even, what, that... not even close. I wouldn't be around what of a troll that you choose to be with anyway. Uh... Oh, I like you didn't get a piggyback to prom, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that can't go out. <laughs> So, yeah, just bring it back. In in terms of so obviously free school meals, we spoke about free school meals, but <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> so, 
Then we went on a mad tangent, yeah, about rapists and whatnot, yeah. And this don't just goes, yeah, so free school meals. Because <laughs> initially we, st- we started about free school meals, and I remember asking Odin about like whether he agrees with the death penalty or not. And then we just went on a tangent from there. Yeah. I mean, it was an interesting conversation, though, but like I tried to build back up into it. Like, there, was a, there was a tweet I saw, yeah. It was um, somebody said, because in, Amer- in America, there, there, there's a conversation about raising the minimum wage to $15 in it. Yeah. And somebody tweeted, if you raise the minimum wage to $15, the price of a Taco Bell will be a sit in price. Like, it will be the same as like a restaurant that you have to sit in. So the mm. price, basically, price. So he's basically saying if you pay people towards the living wage, then the, the, the cost of living will go up. Yeah. The, yeah, but the, the cost of living goes up regardless. Exactly. exactly. That's why I think so, that's so stupid because you're telling me that the cost of living is going to go up and you're not going to do anything about it. <laughs> and also, if even in that case, yeah, because I know obviously I know she's coming from like an economic standpoint. Yeah. You're telling me that p- these all these people can't afford, like, let's say bread, yeah, yeah. And and to accommodate to to get rid of that, we're going to say you're going to earn enough money so that you can comfortably a- afford bread. We're going to pay you enough money. And because of that, the price of bread is going to go up. Does that not just tell you that the system you live in messed up? Yeah, is is inherently wrong. You know what I mean? It's, yeah, that's some Capitalism. smooth brain take, man. What the hell? Yeah, capitalism is kicking our ass, man. Because I remember seeing like I don't know, like a chart or something here yeah, of like the cost of living, and it was going up like this, and the the minimum wage was like literally like this for like yeah. ten years. 10 years like it ain't move at all and the cost of living has been going up anyway so you're telling me it goes up anyway man oh, it's so, so dumb yeah. it's crazy you know especially when you you know when you think of students yeah and like kids the mm. minimum wage that they get paid is oh it's crazy fam it's awful it's <laughs> they're like four, like 16 year olds are like four quid an hour man That's... yeah bro, bro my cousins get paid like peak. three pound an hour fam it probably was yeah. peak fam that's I'm the sure thing you, though you, you can make like... more money off like selling coke off on on in, in playgrounds not like cocaine by the way i mean actual coke yeah i used to do that in well you can, sell, you can sell you can you can make a lot more money selling actual coke as well yeah, yeah but then your mom ab knows all about coke. ab knows all about it <laughs> but yeah now i was gonna say yeah <laughs> knowing like about the ridiculous cost of living in london like as someone who grew up in london and lives in london like you, you're like tempted to say, "Oh, yeah, the goal is to get out of London." I don't think I could do it, you know. I don't think I could do it. Mm. I don't want like, my kids growing up like farmland. You know what I mean? Yeah. Even though it's so ridiculously expensive, I can't see myself moving out. Bro, take away, yeah. Take take away your friends, yeah. Yeah. And your comfortability. What does London have to offer you? I don't know. That's... Honestly, I don't know what what the draw is. It's, it's no, it has, no, no, it has, no, has a lot more to offer than you think, yeah. Sorry. It has a lot more to offer than just that. It's opportunity, isn't it? Where, where? where? Please stop. Please, fam. Please. Where? Okay, JK. He's laughing, I've... but he still hasn't disagreed. <laughs> I, I, have, I have a serious question for you, yeah? And for me? I don't know, yeah, I don't know if we're going to... If you want to do this like in a separate episode or if you yeah. want to keep this now, yeah? But do you feel weird the way that... Obviously, like, the curriculum, media, all that stuff is very Eurocentric, isn't it? Yeah, but when it comes to being like a white Muslim, mm. Islam by uh, when it comes to like South Asian Muslims, um, African Muslims, all that stuff, yeah, they make it seem very mm, like very exclusionary to white people. I would I would say sometimes. So as in they they don't like white Muslims. I wouldn't say they don't like white Muslims, yeah, but the narrative is very pushed to like ignoring the idea that there's also white Muslims. Yeah, if that makes sense. I, obviously, I don't get it so much because I don't look typically white. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But um, yeah, like like we went to Turkey. Yeah. <laughs> we were in Turkey. I remember my mum and my sister got stopped by the police for something. I can't remember what it was for. Like something silly. They just wanted to see their passports and stuff. Mm. And um, they asked my mum, like, where are you from? She said England. And then, and obviously, my mum's white. Like, she looks white. She wears a hijab mm. though. Um, she was like England and then they were like they, they looked bare confused they thought like she was Syrian like a Syrian refugee or something they, yeah. they looked so confused like how are you from England and you're wearing a headscarf like 
your wife from me wearing her skirt. It just doesn't make sense, doesn't it? So there, there must have been like going back and forth for like 10 minutes just arguing about where she's from. <laughs> she showed them the passport. She's like, yeah. Isn't like, that they'll argue from, with each other or argue with your mom? Arguing with my mom. They're like, what, are you Muslim? <laughs> and then she was like, yeah, I'm Muslim. And they're like, they're like what? Like, they're so confused at how that can be, how that can be a, a thing. But yeah, like I said, I've not, I've not experienced that at all because I don't, like I said, I don't know the typical why in it. But yeah, I've, I've seen it online on Twitter mm. plenty of times. Like, um, uh, especially, um, I, I remember I had a, I had, I got into an argument with somebody about this. Like, what, what was is this? It, is it, is it South, South Asian girls? Muslim, South nah, Asian I, Muslim girls. They're always posting about like, oh, we've, we've, we've evolved from the need to having white reverts and shit like that. What is tweeting? Yeah, shit that's like mad. That, it's crazy no, because crazy the thing is, yeah, you know what? They need to understand, like, before, um, before like the Sahaba were Muslim, for example, um, they're white Arabs, right? A lot of them are white Arabs. So they'd be considered white, yeah? And before they accepted this, they, they, they're reverts, do you know what I mean? Mm. Like this, all the Sahaba are reverts. So you're talking about the, those same people. Like it, it's, cr- it's crazy how like th- these lot think Islam is exclusive to them. And I say these lot, even though I'm half Asian myself, but like the, the people who... To, um, express these views and... exp- yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah no, i was just asking because not gonna lie yeah so i see these things a lot where people have um kind of like i don't know encountered things like activism and um going against the grain of salt going mm. against the grain sorry very recently and then they don't think about what they put out there do you know what i mean like I'm, mm-hmm. I'm not gonna lie, so a lot of these people who have found their voice online and like, maybe because they don't have a voice in real life and stuff, and they'll tweet stuff like, "Oh, hey, um, I said, can you say, can you say that again, please, for the people in the back?" What did I say? What? About people and the voice in real life. Yeah, so I, I, there's loads of people like that. I think they don't have a voice in real life yet, which I'm not like I'm not saying in a mocking way. It's very sad that I don't know culture or whatever has pushed these people to lose their voice in real life. And it's yeah. good that they find their voice like somewhere in, in the world, even if it's online. But then they get hungry or like with that power and start tweeting nonsense for no reason, like stuff like, oh, we've we've evolved to the, the need for white reverts or um white Muslims don't deserve our sympathy and stuff like that. I just think Yeah, I think I I I I was saying earlier, I got into an argument with someone, I couldn't remember what it was for. I think there was there must have been some attack. I think it may be the London Bridge one or, or some some attack in Central London where white people died. Mm-hmm. And like there's Muslims on Twitter celebrating and saying, oh, yeah, um, oh, they're white. Like, who cares? Or, or they're like, they, there's white Muslims exist. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. it, it's not that hard to imagine. Do you know what I mean? Like, and yeah. you have to understand how those people think like they're like stuck between the two, the two sides, isn't it? Yeah, it yeah. must be very difficult for them. Yeah, and even even in that case, like the people that died on the bridge are human. They're humans, like, yeah, they're humans. They're humans going about their daily life. There's yeah. no, there's they're not in war. They're not, do you know what I mean? They're not in a war zone. There, there's no like reason for them to be dead. Do you know what I mean? I, I say they're not in a war zone, but the people who also live in a war zone, then there's no justification for them being killed either. Yeah. Um. Obviously, there's a lot of innocent people there. Um. But yeah, I I hate that kind of mentality where people. Yeah, the thing is, said, is it starts off as a as a good movement and like so it, it starts off as activism and then it, it kind of it it goes like it goes a bit too crazy and you, you start yeah. like doing what you're uh, uh arguing against do you know what i mean you start becoming xenophobic and racist yourself yeah yeah going far to the other side because, yeah. yeah i just think it's, I'm not gonna lie, yeah. I don't mean to make this personally about you, innit? But no, every I time mind, I, I every time I see those tweets and stuff, yeah, I think like, yo, one of my good friends is is a, like a basically a white Muslim. <laughs> He's obviously half yeah. half South Asian, but like that's part of his identity. Yeah. Like, and how would he feel thing, reading that? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. And and the thing is, like, um, obviously you say like it doesn't fully relate to me because I'm half South Asian, but like it relates to my mum. Like, I yeah. see these these tweets on on Twitter and stuff, and. Obviously, my mom's a white Muslim, and like it's it's crazy to think that there's other Muslims out there who would think of her in that way. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah it's it's mental. And the worst the worst thing is think of her in that way, 
for choosing to be what they already were yeah, born exactly. into. Exactly. You know what mad that is? <laughs> for making that, that conscious choice. Yeah. You're going to hate someone for that? It's weird, man. It's weird. I think people become hungry with power. And I think especially the ones who like, they find a voice and then other people who also lack a voice in that sense latch onto that and they're like, oh, yo, a lot of people are agreeing with what I'm saying. Let me just tweet nonsense and mm. eat people will eat it up. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. I, I don't know. I just, I don't know why I brought that up, but. <laughs> I don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> That's the problem, man. Like, I mean, Twitter, it's, it's good in so much as you, you can find out so like there's so much information out there but there's absolute idiots who can write anything and people take it as fact if you've if you've got a large enough following and enough people uh interact with the tweet like yeah. total bullshit is like spun and uh, yeah. it reaches it reaches so many people it's crazy i think i think we could probably do a whole episode on twitter yeah but i think one of the annoying things is even with things online is people take very nuanced situations no it's people take they generalize a lot of things, if that makes sense. And forget yeah. that, like, life is very, very nuanced. If you turn off the internet and you go out about, like, I don't know, your town, your community, yeah, you'll see all these things that you're talking about, are v- they vary from person to person or community to community or location to location. But you ignore all of that by just, like, putting out blanket statements about things that don't really apply to your community, if that makes sense, sometimes. I know mm. I'm speaking in very, like, hypotheticals, isn't it? But... Take for example, we could go with cultural appropriation, yeah. So everyone, everyone knows what cultural appropriation is, isn't it? It's like yeah. when you when you take something from someone's culture, uh, and in it from a certain power, position of power, and things like that, yeah. You always get like, let's say for example, I don't know. Uh, I'm trying to think of like a good example. Let's say for our, for example, our cultural clothing, yeah. Mm-hmm. If we wore that at school in, as as a young, you probably get you probably get mocked for it. Yeah, do you know what I mean maybe not in our schools because we went to a very multi multicultural school, but you 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 might you might actually. If we if we went to an all white school, yeah, yeah, we so, get mocked for it. Yeah. So then, if you if you go online, sometimes people will be like, "Oh, I don't know how people are culturally appropriate," and then you'll get people from back home. So like, let's say Pakistan, Bangladesh, India, yeah, mm. they'll say, "But we live in this country, and we don't mind it." Yeah, yeah. But what pe- people are failing to realize is that there's it's not the same experience do you know what i mean like let's say south asian people who live in the west yeah. were mocked were mocked for their culture people who live in back in back in india pakistan and bangladesh they that's, never that's had the that norm experience. There, yeah. yeah yeah so they 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 don't i guess have the right to say whether cultural appropriation is right or wrong because it's not a factor I, for them do you know what i mean I, I don't know bro I, I i might come off as a bit controversial but i don't agree with the whole concept of cultural appropriation do you not no, I don't either. I can't lie. I, I think can... the thing is, yeah, I think you can be proud, be proud of your culture, but I think people are too hung up on it. Like, so, so what if people wear the clothes from from back home? Do you know what I mean, what difference does I'm that make saying. to you? I don't, I don't, I don't. Or think so some, personally, yeah. someone eats your food, someone uses your language, someone uses your your clothes. So what? The thing is, there's a difference between there's a difference between multiculturalism and cultural appropriation. Do you know what I mean? You can, you can appreciate a culture that's completely fine yeah right but i think people who do have an issue with cultural appropriation they have a leg to stand on it and i don't think we personally can relate to them or police them on that because we come from very um diverse areas Wait, hold on hold on one second yeah one second yeah because someone got bullied for like their culture other yeah. people can't embrace your culture they can't steal from it or pick and choose. No, but what, what 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 do you mean by stealing from it? Because how does that make let's, sense? Let, let's say let's say for example, yeah, if the, like the Afro Caribbean community in it, when they go yeah. to work with their hairstyles, yeah, they'll yeah. be labeled as unprofessional. They're not allowed to go to school with that kind of hair, and yeah. years and years of that. And like, let's say like a white girl does it, and she gets she makes a bag of it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I, the thing is though, with that. The, I'm talking about in those types of situations. Yeah, yeah. So you're talking about like braiding your hair, for example, and it being unsuitable, or yeah, like so the, the workplace deems like it unsuitable. But the thing is, if a white girl braided her hair and went to the same workplace, she'd still get in trouble. I don't think so, personally. I don't think so. She would. 
if that's the if that's the uniform policy, if that's the policy of the school, then the, the, a white kid doing the same thing would get in trouble as well. But the thing is, the policy itself is anti-black because they would but, never. It typically only black girls would would have that that hairstyle. Yeah, of course, of course. You know I, mean? I, I know that's a problem, but people would get upset for a white girl braiding her hair and sitting at home. Do you know what I mean? It, it's, you can't re- you can't compare the two because black black girls and uh, black girls don't get in trouble for wearing braids at home. So why should a white girl get in trouble for wearing braids at home? I don't know, man. It's, 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 I think it's no, more I mean, it's more nuanced than that. Do you know what I mean like I get what you, I get what you're saying? Like if you place them if you place them in the very same situation, they get the same reaction. Is what yeah. you're saying, right? Yeah. For me, obviously, it's it's difficult to to speak about a, a black person's experience because I'm not black. But yeah. um, let's say. Let's say Pakistani clothing, yeah, because yeah. that is my culture. Yeah. I don't care if someone wears Pakistani clothing, even if I wore Pakistani clothing to school and I got bullied for it, yeah. But have you? Yeah, it, no, I haven't. But even no, if I did, but that's 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 that's, though. If, no, but that's, did, that's, that's no, but different say, though. But the no, but thing say, is, bro. But say actually, he did, yeah. Say yeah. if he did, yeah. So what? Other people can't wear Pakistani clothing. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. No, but and if, they can, the they can is, wear. Listen, at the end of the day, it's a free country. You can wear whatever you want. That's yeah. not just that can't stop people from saying, "Yo, this is cultural prohibition." Be but more it, mindful nah. in certain situations. Bro, I don't. I, honestly, I don't. I, I, I don't agree with the whole concept because at if, school, I can. I if I th- if I think hard enough and try to remember, there's probably instances where I got uh, mocked for being Pakistani or I got mocked for being Muslim, yeah. and I still don't care if people now, if those same people wore Pakistani clothing, ate Pakistani food, uh, wore Muslim clothing, ate. Well, there's not really Muslim food, but ate halal food, for example. Do you know what I mean? Like, it, it. What difference does it make? I would care personally, bro. I think I people. Are too, why though? Too, How does that affect? Because because, because I, I, don't it, I don't think I don't think I don't think it's that simple. I'm not talking about like in, in people in their feelings in it. I'm talking about people making the bag and like popularizing popularizing things that they cost. I'm talking about in terms of trends. Do you know what I mean? Like, let's say for example, um, what's it called back in the day. Um, it was a trend to cuss Hindus on how many like gods and stuff they have and all that stuff. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Like it was a, it was a big trend to cuss them on that. Yeah. But yeah. nowadays, you know, p- all these like influencers are making the bag of, of introducing like, pre- preaching preaching things like chakras and manifesting and aligning your chakra and all that stuff. So yeah, what they wrong with back in the day, they're now making money off. I think that, I think that's morally wrong, fam. No, but oh, if they if they know, if the influencers made c- cuss like Hindus and that. Cool, yeah. I do hear that to an extent, yeah. Because no, but you, you don't cool. know who did and who didn't, though. Do you exactly. I mean? I'm not, so why the I'm, fuck? I'm, do I'm not. Care? I'm not. I'm not saying shut it off from them. I'm saying to be mindful of that. Do you know what I mean? But the, that, that moral gray. gray so area. what? So every time they make a post about chakras, they're gonna be like, oh, I know, I know, it wasn't cool, but it's just bringing you down to what it was before. Not not, not to like mention it every time, yeah. I'm talking about exactly. the people who get offended. They're allowed to get offended. There's no, I, you can't say to them they can't get offended. Well, of course, they have, you can't they have saying, a, No, no, I'm but they have, a, they, have, they have a reason to be offended. Of course, you're not allowed to tell anybody. Uh, no, no, yeah, no, but yeah. you're, you're, you're saying you can't see the ground for them being offended, right? Yeah. I can see the ground for opinion, them being though. offended. No, no, I'm not saying that you're wrong in it. Yeah. But I'm saying, of my opinion, they have, they, have the, they have the grounds to be offended. Do you know what I mean? No, but, but then, like, it's, it's, the same, it's the same the grounds that other people can use whatever culture they can feel for bro like I think people like people are just looking for excuses to be offended I don't like think so. yeah man I don't think so I think these some of these things are important because why should like let's say for example yeah would the, would the Hindu person actually get a bag of making things like you know before you said like if you put a white girl in the same situation as a black girl yeah the Hindu girl wouldn't make as much money as the, as the white girl for yeah because we're living because we're living in a white society so ah, that's what man. sells yeah but that it doesn't mean it's right though I'm not saying it's no, but the, the the problem is not the the cultural appropriation. Yeah, it is. It, it, oh, so it, why don't people just work harder and get to a point where they can where they can talk about their own? The thing? problem is but the problem like, is, like, is Shaka bars and them and there, fam. They they scream about like the own. But Shaka bars, yeah. You know Shaka bars the other day, yeah. He was like, I was on Clubhouse, innit? And that guy was in like a room, doxing uh, a black doctor, for debunking vaccine conspiracies. Yeah. You know I didn't expect that from him. I'm not gonna lie. I don't, I don't even know who you're talking about. Shaka was he's like he's like a activist, like public speaker in it. Yeah. Him and Tiffany Haddish, you know the girl from Night School, or mm-hmm. like in the yeah. Kevin Hart movies, in it. They were like yeah. doxing uh, black doctors for um, for debunking like conspiracy theories about the vaccine and shit like. 
I mean, because they were talking about like you can use herbs. You don't need to. You don't need to worry about um, the vaccine. Okay, you don't need okay, to that's a vaccine. bit. Yeah, see, that's that's a bit mad. That's all nonsense, man. Yeah. But what's that got to do with cultural appropriation? No, because he because no, he brought up Shaka Bars, isn't it? He, he probably oh. he proper like because Shaka Bars, he proper screams for like this. Like he proper talks about his like he's like he always like like in most of his posts. If you go and go to his Insta, yeah, most yeah. of his posts is about his like his his background and that. And yeah. People, and he's proud of that. Why don't people just do that? Why don't people just talk but about it? But they, they, you, you can do both. You can be proud of your culture. And I'm not I'm not saying like, I don't agree with cancel culture, all that stuff. Let's get that out of the way, yeah? I don't agree with like, oh, like, if, if for example, yeah, if a white guy posted a picture of, of Thobe and he's not Muslim, yeah, and he made money off that, yeah, I, like personally, I would probably say, yo, you know, that's from like um, Islamic culture or like Arabic culture and it. And I'll leave it at that. I wouldn't be like, yo, you can't do that. I'll never stop someone from doing something there. But I would personally be mindful of like, yo, if you got like 300 million, 3 million followers off that and made the bag of it, okay, wait, hold I, on, would, I would keep that in mind. One second. So if you, you just got your hair braided right now, yeah? Yeah. If you got like an advert, if you got like a, like a, like a company, yeah, that came yeah. up to you and said, yo, I don't know. I'll say no. Like, promote like a little braid, like a little braiding wig. I don't know. I don't know. I'll say no. I'll, I'll say, I'll say no because it's not my Why? culture to pr- promote. Man, I don't, I don't agree with that, man. bro. I don't understand. I, I, I personally, why don't you promote it? Why don't you promote it as someone else's culture then? You can because still there's, because there's, culture, there's enough people from their culture who are trying to do that. But anyway. they approached you. You can still you can still promote their culture. You can say that so it's you're, their you're, culture you're, that you're, you got you're, it from. You're telling me yeah, if some white executive came to you and said promote something that is not from your culture, bro. Instead yeah, of instead of it's not from my culture, I'll say it's from their culture and where they got it from. Why Where would I need I to? From? Why would I need to do that when there's people? I, when I can just uplift, uplift other people who are already doing that to their own culture themselves. Do you know what I mean? I don't need you to take do up both, that space. Bro. You can still get paid for promoting the their, their thing and promote their I can, thing. I as can well. get. I can. Why don't when when someone I can when someone paid for promoting my own thing? What what was your own thing? Don't worry, bro. I'm Bengali now. <laughs> <laughs> do you know I mean, Moss Bazaar, all that I'm, stuff. Gee, I'm just saying that you could do both. Like, you could be. You could, no, but you could, you I don't. I don't. Right. I don't think if personally. You, for me, again, you know the influencers. Yeah, they all have autonomy over themselves. I'm not saying like you should stop them or anything. Yeah, but for me personally, I would think more than twice about doing things like that because it's not from my culture. In, no, in I, terms I, of this, in terms I of this, in terms of this, yeah, this is this is from Islam, and I got it from the Sunnah of the Prophet, so 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 that's why I did it for like to, for the charity and stuff. Yeah. You're not if, going on the travel though. You're not traveling anyway. Shut up, man. If <laughs> if, if 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 for example, yeah, let's let's say for example, these were these were box braids in it. Something specifically, not my culture in it. Box braids, and let's say I don't know, fucking, um, Cantu messaged me. Said like, yo, we want you to be the face of Cantu box braids. Yeah, I say I don't wear that personally. Enough, and it's not my culture. There's. Pr- Plenty of people out there, like black men and women, that can promote your thing. You don't need to. You don't need to have me on there. Do you know what I mean? Okay. What if they came to you, yeah, for like a hundred bands or something, yeah, and they were like, give give me like a little five minute video of you promoting Cantu and Braids, yeah. Would you not talk about African culture or like where again? Again, I would say. From? Again, I would say. I, I would. I would redirect to them to people who are from their own culture who are doing it already. Bro, you can do both. I don't, I don't need to. What? No, there's that one opportunity is only there's only one opportunity. It's not saying there's a video of me and somebody else. No, but you can talk. The, bro, the only, saying, the only, you can, only you can still you can still hold the bag and still talk about these other people that are promoting it as well. There's a difference between in that, five, like, in that, five, in that video. A, in that video, no, but, how much traction do, can people get? Do you think in that video they're, they're going to tell you what to say, bro? The company's going to tell you what to say. They're not going to let you promote other people. Otherwise, they, otherwise they would have approached those people in the first place. I mean, we're getting into the semantics of like companies and executives and shit. Uh, nah, you know? yeah. Hypotheticals, but personally, I don't know, man. Cultural appropriation I, is a thing in my opinion. I think before you even get to cultural appropriation, I think that it, like, I don't know why, like, yeah, like I said before, you have your culture, but it, that's not the only thing that defines you. Like, why, what, I, I, I don't understand why people get so fixated on their culture. Like, that's not the most important thing in life. Do you know it's what I mean? Important, though. You, no, but the thing is, you didn't do anything to become part of that culture. It's not an achievement. You were born into it. Do you know what I mean? Like, you you didn't work to be, to be where working, you are man. in that culture. Hey? Stop fingering the way, huh? You're disgusting. That's what you're yeah. doing, bro. Every time it's like you're, you're thumbing it. 
fingering is a party of culture. Stop a culture, stop culture. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> but yeah, I was gonna say like, uh, you didn't work to become part of a culture. You didn't do anything to towards it. You were you literally happened to be born into it, and that's it. Okay, so in that case, yeah. Yeah. But I don't agree with that. First of all, because you can be born into a culture and not embrace your culture. Do you know what I mean? But that's well, that's, that's, that's beside the point. That, that's, that's, that's beside the point. It. That's by the buying it. Like you can be proud of your culture if you choose to embrace it. Yeah, you can be proud of your it. culture, but 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 to to police who can embrace things from from one culture or another. Like, again, yeah, though, I'm who, not, I'm not who saying who who can embrace it because you can there's you can you can appreciate culture. That's completely fine. Do you know what I mean? People can appreciate culture. That's completely fine. I'm talking about in terms of positions of power and like the way things are framed and the way nah, people man. make money of things is very, very different. For example, yeah, let's take, for example, um, fucking, sorry, I don't want to swear. Um, Urban Outfitters, yeah, in America, yeah. they made a whole range on uh, Native American um, style patterns and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah? Mean, meanwhile, these times, the same Native Americans were losing their habitats in, in America. And losing their access to clean water as well. Yeah. So, I mean, does, that don't sit right with me. I, I hear that. I hear that. No, but th- those are the, like, of course, the the, the, the curry one and the, the clothing one, those are in more minuscule versions. And the Native American one is like a um, like a more prominent thing in it. But yeah. that's what it gives rise to in it. Like people but who bro, are oppressed or people who are, bro. Who are, are viewed negatively in, in, in society are now having the things that they hold dear to them. Um, exploited or used for money do you know what i mean yeah but bro in that situation of course i don't agree with the the, the what is happening what has happened or is happening to native americans yeah no, no, no. but how does urban outfitters selling their patterns exploit them because they're exploiting their culture taken from their culture and they're making themselves so what money. so easily what they could do is donate some of that money to the their, their issues but why they're a business I know, but I'm saying like that whole system is is wrong. It's morally wrong. Like this uh, system of like taking things not. from other people's culture and making money off it. I don't think is is, that, is right. I yeah, nah. I couldn't think of the words before, but I, uh, like it's 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 tribalism, isn't it? Like, yeah. and I think that's a, that's a even worse thing. It, like being too hooked up on where you're from and being too nationalistic. Like, um, yeah, I think it causes more division than than uh, than anything else. Now, if sometimes, you if you tell sometimes some... sometimes division is key, bro. I'm looking no, at no. I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> but yeah, like it, it, I think honestly, it just it, it does cause more division. Like you're alienating people from from your culture. Why would you want to do that? I don't. Again, I'm not saying you can't. People can't appreciate things in it. I'm not saying shut people off from culture either. I'm talking about in terms of people making the bag of exploiting you. That's it, that's the only, the only thing I'm talking about. But bro, what are you defining as exploit? How is it exploitation? The, like what I said, like making money of things that you would never get the bag for. That's not exploit. No, just because so, just because somebody is making money, it doesn't mean you're losing out. No, but it's make you're they're making money. First of all, they are taking up your space. So like whatever. No, but, at, at the no, end of the day, no, at, no, at the no, end no, of the no. day, yeah. No, no, nah. listen, listen, listen. At the end of the day, yeah. <laughs> let's say for example, AB, if you if you started like a a mutton roll company, yeah. Again, I don't think no one should You're make mutton rolls. <laughs> Again, I don't think I don't think no one should make mutton rolls in it. Like anyone can make mutton rolls. Again, it's just it's just a hypothetical because it's the first thing I can think of that's close to home in it. So like, someone makes a mutton roll, yeah. There's only so much competition in the mutton roll industry. I don't even yeah. know if there's a mutton roll industry, but you get what I mean in terms of economics, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So a big company like I don't know, let's say fucking um I don't know, any company, like a big company comes and they they're like, I'm I got the monopoly, or I I I got the main pull and the push on mutton rolls. I'm gonna sell it more than you guys, and people are gonna come to me and they're not gonna come to you. But that's how it works. That's that's how economics exactly. works. Exactly. So why the fuck I'm gonna cry about it? It's gonna happen Would anyway. Because you, you're losing out on money, but no, it's not gonna come to doesn't you. Doesn't matter, bro. man. It doesn't matter. You know, you know bro, one bro, thing I, I will I say. Have... You're losing I out, bro. As a, just to finish that point, yeah, AB, you're losing out on that money. If you were making mutton rolls, that person took all your business away. One thing I would say, yeah, when it comes to cultural appropriation, I think, um, like people are a million times more outraged when it's a white person. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I think that is wrong. Yeah, no, yeah, but yeah, 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 yeah hundred. No, hundred, 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 hundred. Because in 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 most 
societies now because white people hold the power. That's why. I'm not. I'm not talking about. I'm not talking about. Um, on a micro. I think. Can can we stop um, here? Let me let me just put a frame on this quickly. Yeah. I think we're both arguing different points. Me and me and Ads, we're talking about white people, like just a just just a more, just a regular person. You're talking about corporate companies. For these people culturally appro- appropriating, they're not in position of power. Yeah, no, I'm that's what we're saying. Inf- influencers, but, all these but, things, bro. But if if Kajun is if, if, is talking about fucking corporate companies and that, no, I'm talking about influencers, corporate bro, companies, all that stuff. Yeah, you're talking about influencers, but if celebrities, if if, if a nobody. If a nobody white girl posted on Twitter with box braids, she would, people would get onto her for culturally appropriate. Yeah, and I'm she's not, not, not in a position I'm, of power. She's not an influencer. No, nah, but I'm, I'm, not, I'm not. Argue, I'm not arguing for that though. So that's would why, you would you that's, agree that's, that that's cultural appropriation though? That's appreciation. That's why I'm saying there's a difference between appreciation and appropriation. But who, who's to say what's the difference? She's not in a position what, just of power. Because, so no, once you once no, you reach a certain thing. amount of followers, then it becomes appropriation. So what's yeah. the limit then? So what is it? A thousand followers? Two thousand? When yeah, does it relax, become appropriation? Relax, relax. It's not, it's no, not but it's like true. Some numerical thing. Do you know what I mean? No, but no, but is we're asking. No, no. But the point is, when does it become the other? What do you mean? So you have cultural appre- appreciation, which is what you what? said that nobody on Twitter. Yeah. When does it become appropriation? How many followers when does she, she have? When, to when have she starts making when, when she starts making money off it. Bruv, there could be a model who's a nobody making money off being a model, and she has box braids. Does that mean that's cultural appropriation? But she's not specifically making money off. I'm talking about like se- like selling the product itself. Do you know what I mean? Nah, man. I, honestly, I don't agree. I don't agree. Like I said, it's all tribalism, and I don't agree with tribalism. Like, you, you shouldn't get too caught up on where you come from because you didn't do anything to to become part of that tribe or part of that culture. Do you know what I mean, again, you where do we draw the line? I just told where you do when they the start line? making money off it. When they start making money. Yeah. How? How? But, oh my. God. What do you mean, fam? If someone's making enough money and taking up your space, you're telling me that's not an issue? No, it's not an issue. I, I gotta disagree, bro. Gotta if disagree. if a, if a white guy makes money selling Pakistani clothes, power to him in it. That's that's that that's up to him if he wants to do that. Nah, and if the company selling the clo- if the company selling the clothes wants to approach a white person, that's up to them. That's what they yeah. think sells in this society. But that's the issue. What? With, that's an issue within itself. If only one thing sells and people can't sell their own brand, you don't think that's an issue? Bro, no one's saying you can't sell your own brand. If you think that but, there's not enough Pakistani representation in Pakistani clothing brands, start your own clothing brand. But they won't sell as good. Thank you. That's what I'm trying Bro, to say. They won't sell as good. No, but then you're, you're already uh, uh, placing that hurdle in front of you. You don't place the hurdle if it's already there. Bro, there doesn't have to be a hurdle there, bro. There is Anybody a hurdle there, though. Ah, there man. is a hurdle there. You won't do ah. as well as as those people. Says who? From history, bro. You can see it when you watch. When you watch, you can see it from Hollywood. Yeah, the leading men, the leading women, they're all obviously of a specific color. Yes or no? That's because it, that's what the cast requires. You tell me the cast requires only white people to play a white person. Yeah. No, but how, who said, who's to say the character is white, a white person? Okay, so give a specific example. That could be any example. Because um, most movies are based in, off books in, or novels in, in, that were... In, Inception. Inception, for example. I haven't, I haven't even watched that. <laughs> Inception, what else? Could, you, could be Mission, Mission Impossible. Yeah, but bro, you have to realise that the pool that they have to choose from is a white country... Obviously, nah, the pool man. of actors that they have to choose from is going to be majority majority white because that's just the the percentage of, Listen, of the like population. We've, we've 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 diverged a very quite a far, yeah. That I don't know what my argument is anymore. But cultural appropriation exists, yeah. No, you can disagree, but I'm I don't think I'm gonna like come round to your point. No, no. <laughs> the the thing is, yeah, like I've done, I have no. Uh, like research in terms of cultural appropriation. I'm just going off why, like what I have witnessed personally in it. Like I don't think it's that big of a deal. And I'm go- I'm I going off like studies. Not gonna lie. I'm gonna say okay. Islamically, so if if ads yeah, if ads yeah. start making peace on Bengali clothes yeah, would you be pissed? That's my boy, so I wouldn't be that pissed. See, that's different. That's the, no, but that's nah. different. That's, you know, before you know, before when I was saying that's hypocritical, yeah, bro. No, listen, that's listen, 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 listen. So listen to me. Yeah. You know, before when I was so saying... If it's like, your boy, that's okay. As long as you know them, Shut the right. fuck up, man. Listen. It's what he's saying. Shut the fuck up. Well, you no, know, but before, that's what you said. 
Shut up. Let me ask bro, the question. Then. Let I'm me ask the I'm question. Bro, I'm Let me mad. answer the question. Are you are you gonna hear the answer yeah, or not? Yeah. You know go before on. when I was you know before when I was saying like a lot of issues, um, the the void of nuance in it. Yeah. On a microscopic level, Adam is my boy. I can apply nuance there. Do you know what I mean? But bro, you said you said when it become it when they start making money off it, that's when it becomes appropriation. So it shouldn't matter if they're your boy or not. If I start making money off it, according to you, I'm I'm uh, culturally appropriating. Yeah, but I, what can I say? You're my boy. So I'm then it should gonna, it should still I'm be not, a problem. Exactly. Not, so not, then it's okay. Gonna, if you know them, it's him, okay. I'm not, just... What am I going to do? Am I going to kidnap, so kidnap him and stop him? So the thing is, bro, bro, you're talking about it. You, you said, uh, 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 <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> we got him. <laughs> <laughs> no, you said cultural yeah, appropriation never... is morally yeah. bad. Yeah. Yeah. So it, if you're talking about morals, it's got to be consistent, regardless of if they're your friend or not. No. What do you mean? For for example, insulting someone is morally bad. Yes or no? No, but no, no. If, no. if you context, if you no, but, no, exactly. There's context there. What, what can what I say? Difference to, in context is that what, I'm still making money off someone else's culture. And I would still think you're exploiting someone. But what would I? Say, what can I say to you in that situation? But would, no. But you said you don't think that's wrong. I would think it's wrong. But what can I say to you in that situation? Yeah, that was the question, that? though. If you think it's wrong, it's I not about would wrong. you say something. Oh, that's yeah. fine then. That was the question. Yeah, I would. I would think it's wrong. No, but the question, was, the question was not, would you say something to me? The question was, do you think it's wrong? No, he asked me, would you say something? And I said, oh, no, okay. because what can, I, what can I do in that situation? Like, you, Oh, okay. I, I, I think we, we both took that question differently, in it. Again, I was, what, I was, again, what you have to understand here is I'm not yeah. saying, like, stop people from making the bag in it. Right. And I'm, I'm, I'm speaking, like, a cultural provision is just like a concept, in it? Yeah. And the idea of it can change. I might be completely wrong about it. But I can't. I, I don't think it's enough to say that it doesn't exist and it's not something you should think about. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like my idea of cultural appropriation might be completely wrong, and that's why maybe um, you guys are not fucking with it. That's completely fine. But I think the concept is there. Bro, I, it's something I recognize. to consider in that situation. I only agree up up until when corporate companies get involved. If it was just was like gonna... any regular degular, you cool, man. Make your peas in it. Do do your thing or whatever. But as long as, as long as corporate companies get involved, because I know it, it can get monopolized and all of that, that's when. So, so that's, that's where you would. I think you that's would where I, I would draw the line personally. That's where I would draw the line when then people. You would, then, then you would. Monopolize. Then you would agree that it exists in in some context, right? No. In that context, I, yeah, did, so I you never agree said with it, me then. I, I never said I didn't agree with it. No, but I that was my whole. That, that, that was I my said, whole point. I, I just, no, I just had a problem. Bro, bro, bro. No, at, at, the begin, problem. at the beginning, you. At the beginning, Adam said, he said he doesn't think there is cultural appropriation. And you said, yeah, I agree. There's no such thing as corporate, cultural appropriation. That's where I'm not saying that there, I, I definitely agree there's nuances in it. And my nuance might be wrong. That's completely fine. That's not what I'm arguing. No, but bro, I, you know what you're, what you're describing? I recognize as a widely held belief in terms of, as in that's the, 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 the wide, uh, that's what's generally held as the, the uh, definition of cultural appropriation. So I don't think yours is a, like uh, a special, uh, I I don't know. How, I, I know no, what I, I, I need to say. It's not. It's not a different take. This is the wide yeah, take. Of what, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't. I don't. I don't, I, I don't think it's the widely held belief. I think most people's belief, or like the belief I see on Twitter, is like it is wrong in all situations. I'm not saying it's wrong in all situations. Do you know what I mean? I think it's just something so to think about. Uh, where, where you, would you draw? Would you draw the line when people? So it does. Would you draw the line when people start making money in all degrees or just some? It's something to, it's something to think about, isn't it? Again, personally, for me, my personal opinion doesn't matter in this situation. Do you know what I mean? I don't think it should even no, I'm come to for a point opinion. where it's... I don't think it should come to a point where it's something you think about. Because, like, you know, it's like some of our answers in previous podcasts and whatever, there has been an Islamic element. Yeah, If you talk Islamically, like, tribalism is... A, there's no tribalism at all. Do you know what I mean? Your culture doesn't matter. You're Muslim more, before anything else. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but, so yeah, two but, two cultures, you, it doesn't matter like the difference in your culture or what you what you adopt from another culture. That shouldn't matter. Your your tribe, your culture does not matter. You are born into it, and that's it. I think I I, I disagree, man, because we live in a, we live in a world now where your culture can put you at a disadvantage, and um, that's for, for sure. Like I don't think well, my, that's my take on it. If your culture puts you at an advantage, but other people can. So not, not advantage, it puts you at a disadvantage 
and people can other people can make it into something advantageous for themselves, I think there's an issue with that, man. Nah, man. Maybe I'm 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 not coming up with the right examples in it, but I hundred percent think some people's culture gives them a disadvantage sometimes in life, or like the way it's portrayed is negatively portrayed, widespread as well. I don't know, man. I think we'll have to agree to disagree. Yeah, yeah. Maybe like bring it back and run it back round two next <laughs> another time. Do you know what the thing is? Yeah, like knowing um, like the people who probably listen to this, I feel like. Uh, a lot of people will agree with what you're saying in it so you you may get some some dms and whatever uh like coming for me or ab you know <laughs> no but obviously no nah, obviously obviously like the audience listen up here this is this is like we're just having a conversation here yeah. we, start, we started shouting at some points but like it's not because we hit like anyone has like bad like views it's just something that's kind of that's the thing though like I'm not saying don't appreciate your culture. I appreciate my own culture. I appreciate, I come from two cultures. I appreciate both my cultures, yeah? yeah? But I think it should stop at appreciating. So appreciate it and that's it. There's nothing more than that. It, it's not such a big deal. That's, that's all what, I'm that's saying. That's what I'm screaming as well. That's all I'm I don't, saying. I don't think so, man. I think it's weird as well because we grew up in like Brent in it. It's like the most yeah. uh, diverse borough in the whole of London. England, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, so... Sometimes culture doesn't matter. Do you know what I mean? But for some for some people, culture is like their identity. Do you know what I mean? In yeah, but your identity and, is, wait, so, is on so, so many different levels. Don't, have, so. don't don't have an identity outside of the culture. Bro, yeah, that's mad. I, 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 identi- identity is not one like monolithic thing, bro. It's, you can have a hybrid identity, you know, but it can be a poor, important part of your identity. Do you know what I mean? Is that for yeah, example? I, it I think it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be so important to the part to the point where people are fucking like crying over let, shit. Let me let me give you an exa- let, let me give you, let me give you an example, yeah, because there's a lot of people who say like, um, in the in this argument when it comes to cultural appropriation, they say like, what about white culture in it? But for white culture, there is no white culture. There is there's English. No no, there's English culture. Yeah. There's white English culture. There's white Welsh culture. There's white like Irish culture. Do you know what I mean like? Those countries have yeah. culture that's that's exclusive to them, but not because of their color. Is that, does that make sense? Yeah, but but bro, cult, culture it, again, culture is not just is not just limited to to that you, because th- I think culture is multi layered as well because th- yeah, there's 100%. there's London culture and yeah, that would encapsulate so many different skin tones and so many different countries. Yeah, so, no, I, I I agree. Like, I agree. So so w- would would somebody from uh, from Bristol, uh, speaking in a London accent or making money off a London accent is that cultural appropriation? In terms of what, there's loads of different London accents though. Uh, it's, okay, fine. A Northwest London accent, like MLE. If they make, if they're making money off it, is that cultural appropriation? Because that's still a culture. But is so like, are they putting it on? Yeah, actors. Yeah. Okay, actors. That's different. You're in a movie. You're acting. That's fine. Bro, what? no, 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 no. Say, 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 say you. You're like a comedian or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Like on Insta, yeah. see yeah. like Mike's comedy, or whatever. Yeah. Say if Mike's comedy. Yeah, I disagree. I, I, I do. No, disagree. no, no. Stop, stop. Yeah. Say, say if Mike's comedy was from Bristol and he's making a London accent and he's dressing up in like I don't know night text or whatever. I don't know whatever. Yeah. Like, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And in like yeah. wearing 95s and shit. Yeah. You get is that cultural appropriation. Is is anyone disadvantaged because they're from London? Yeah. Why? People in Northwest London are disadvantaged economically. Because no, because of the accent though. No, but the, no, 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 no. Because it's the urban thing culture, is, which was yeah. once frowned upon. I there are there are things like that. For example, you know, like outside London, you see on like online thing. I don't like the use of the word chav. For example, that's one thing that I hate. Do you know what I mean? That's the only example I could think of is like where certain things I would gatekeep. That word chav is not for like middle class people from like Cheshire and things like that. Do you know what I mean? I it hear was, that. It's, do you get what I'm trying to say? Like, I hear that. I'm, no, what I'm I hear that, that point. That, that, that's that's the thing. You hear that because that's that's an experience close to you. In terms of like, no one's stuff, ever called not, me a chav. No, but but you know it. Like, it's <laughs> around you. Do you know what I mean? It's around you, and you know it, right? Yeah. In terms yeah, of yeah, like, yeah. for example, braids. Yeah, you 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 can't really have. You don't, that's not your experience. Do you know what I mean? So if I call if I if I wore braids yeah, and I made peas, yeah, you would feel a way about it. You'd be like, "Yo, AB, you're moving mad." Why would I? I'm not black. 
No, but I'm saying, would you? No, but you still, you, you were still screaming for cultural appropriation. Isn't that by your definition, that's a cultural appropriation, no? A co- what? A couple of <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, but for, probably I'll, I'll say to you, you're like, are you, are you thinking about the choices you're making? I would say, and you can say no. That's, that's you can say I don't give a fuck. That's completely fine. Do you know what I mean? And who's to say I'm right? Who's to say you're okay, right? But, but by then, then my opinion. No, but okay, cool. Again, by your definition, you yeah. should have a pro- You should not listen to Mist. Because Mist made his whole career of speaking Punjabi music, Punjabi words in his thing. Yeah. What? In his in his in his raps, yeah. he was does, known. How, he was his biggest. How does, his big, how does that song, mean? His biggest song is Carla's back, and Carla's not is not a uh, is not a uh, English word. It's literally a word to describe him that people use around him. Again, we're talking about appreciation. What about all the other words that uh, Punjabi uh, words that he uses? Uh, no, no, no. About, what about all the other Punjabi words that he uses? Because he grew up around Punjabi culture. That's appreciation, bro. Again, as I said. But he's made money. But off he it. makes money off it. No, again, that's one factor. That is one factor. Oh, come yeah? off when it comes it, to pre- mate. appreciation. Come off it. In, in that case, we in in that situation, we know the nuance. We know the context. Again, before you were saying context, yeah, we know the context in that situation. Do you know what I mean? I'm not saying like you know. So then, would that not be right saying, wait, for wait. me to wear braids? Because I grew up. You know where I grew up. Yeah, exactly. My all I'm influenced influence is my black culture. That's all man's influence from. No. That's that's a fact. But furthermore, I'm more influenced by black culture because of where I grew up than my own culture. Were you ever influenced to wear braids in your childhood? Sorry? Did, did people like randomly braid your hair in your childhood and stuff like that? Yes. And that's something you would wear to school? No, I didn't wear it to school, but bro, I've, you, bro, I've you, had my hair you, braids Bro, you've been, you've been bored all your life, man. Stop lying. <laughs> <laughs> I could show you. I could show you. I could show you at least like three pictures now. Where in my in my. But Kyojin, he, he makes you know, a valid you, point. You know, you know that leaked no, picture of M Hunter. Forget no, Zifa. you're missing the point, bro. Kyojin, he makes a very. He said valid you have a problem because... with me making peas or braids. Yeah, yeah because bro, but, that you, is not you, part... but I'm I'm the mist in this okay in this scenario. Yeah, because that's you one, made an excuse one for mist. You made an excuse for mist no, because mist, you know the mist. context. Again, in terms of like power and structural power, mist is not in a place position of power as well. Is A B. What do you mean? You, you have to be consistent across both examples. No, but you said with, you said with, with, you, with you a, made an with a, with a B. Yeah, listen. Yeah. He when I'm talking about hypotheticals, yeah, I'm thinking it very deeply. Yeah, he's just come up with this idea to wear wear braids, and it's never been a fact in his life ever before. No, but would that not be weird to you, bro? But bro, you, at was, home, at home, Miss didn't speak Punjabi. No, but in uh, out he on the road, he spoke he Punjabi. No, he did. You think he actually spoke Punjabi? Not actually. His friends, Punjabi. his yeah, friends used Punjabi, Punjabi words. If AB's friends braid their hair, that's the culture that he grew up in. What if? But, what they, if, but they didn't though. He he he. What? No one braided his hair, fam. No, braided their. I just hair. said I could show you pictures of me braiding my hair, fam. Shut up, man! You were bald all your life, man. Oh, cool. Nah, I think if you're being honest, you've got to say that Mist is culturally appropriating. Yeah, I don't. And think I think no, you're not. making excuses. I think you're making excuses for him because he's not white. No. Yes. I think that's that's a factor though. It is so a factor then, though. So then you're not, you're not being consistent. It's a black culture factor. Again, what I'm saying, what I said before is you don't need to be consistent. There is no need to be consistent. There's nuance behind everything. Bro. In that case, we know no, the context. We know no, the nuance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you, you, for, for you to make an argument, you need to have, um, like, you need to have solid there, there definitions and solid. The reason you use for me is to be easy to based to me. on nothing. No, because the thing is, yeah, you know, before the example used before uh, Adam, yeah. Yeah. Was like a random girl in her room took a picture of box braids and put it up online. Yeah, yeah. We don't know the context. I would never address that situation. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. For me personally, in it, I don't care what other people do, but I would never address that situation. We don't know yeah. the context. There's no nuance there. I'm talking about in in situations where we know the nuance, or we know like the situation, or like people are being exploited. I'm not saying like cancel everyone who does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But is culture, isn't it? we know the context in to a certain extent in two situations, A B situation and missed situation. Okay, I think AB, you have AB, to have AB's, the same AB's, opinion AB's, on both. AB's come out of nowhere, bro. I'm telling you, I, bro, he, but you know, I, you know as, my, as, as my friend, I would have known it to that be something. He grew up around him. black people. No, but it would it would I would have known bro, that. You as know a factor. for a fact. Okay, wait, Kildin, let's stop, just stop, wait, look, Kildin, yes or no, yeah? I, is man not influenced by by black culture? Yes or no? Yeah, but it doesn't mean you need to start. On a scale of one to ten, a, a on a scale of one to ten, how 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 much do you think it influences me? And also answer the question. Zero. Giggs is number one fan, you know. You said zero. Yeah, zero. 
Anyway, so but you just said it, you just said it, he's got influence on me. Miss, miss not making money off being Punjabi fan. What the fuck, bro? His no, whole career Punjabi. is built, bro. He's he, no, he got, he's a, Punjabi he's got a certain sound, he has a certain no, sound, and not, it's, it's bro. That's, he made that's, that's, he made also, a song. Also, also, there you go, <laughs> you made a song no, with listen, the C, you made a song with the C rapper, fam. And then in that video, in that video, still that's because it's still bangles, though. Still bangles is making the money off that. No, 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 Stefan Don in that tune, in that video, was culturally appropriate. I don't agree with that. Yeah, I don't agree with that. Sorry, I don't agree with that. Then you yeah, shouldn't but... agree with what Miss is doing either. Yeah, no, exactly. because no, it's because Miss Miss's beats are produced by Still Bangles. So the Asian brother. Doesn't matter. He's, he's so, making, so if my made, if, if my braids were made by an African person, that should be all right then. Yeah, that's calm. If if your boy, still bang, if, still if your boy Indian, gave you braids, that's calm. Bro, Still Bangles is Indian, isn't it? Yeah. So why is he not making Indian uh, tunes? Nah, I, listen. You guys are trying to make it. You said. You said. You said the beats. Let me say it. The beats that he makes are from an Indian guy. They're not Indian beats. Listen, listen, listen to me. <laughs> you guys, you guys are trying to make it out like I, like I don't think multiculturalism is a good, is a good thing at all. No, no, no. I, look, no, all I'm saying no. is, every, I'm saying every, is wait, wait, wait. Every yeah, argument has been either left or right for you. <laughs> Mine is in the middle. I don't, I don't go either left or right. Do you know what I mean? There's nuance, and I would look at things case by case. There's no need for consistency and say all things are wrong or all things are good. You have to look at things in a case by case situation. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. I mean? That's true. That is true. But we gave you two cases where you can look at the context. A B is a fact. He grew up around black people. He was influenced by black culture, and although he didn't braid his own hair necessarily, or he didn't get his hair braided by black people necessarily, you can look at missed situation. He didn't speak Punjabi at home. He probably didn't speak Punjabi with his friends. His friends used Punjabi him. words around him. And his friends were Punjabi. That. If wait, hold Bro. on. Ju- for judges, wait. Considering so, your argument, Kirjan, there, you should have a problem by the way I speak. No, because that's you Cause don't my, speak. No, because my Listen. culture, no, because my my heritage, we don't I don't speak like this. That's fine. My 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 that's fine. People, I don't, people, that's listen, my family. Wh- why are you people, saying that's my family listen, that, listen, that, grew, listen, that listen, didn't listen. grow up in my area? I speak like me. Like people don't speak like me, bro. Yeah, they do. What do you mean? Who bro? You what you're telling me from my cousins from 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 can't speak like me. Is that what you're telling me? Listen, bro, I'm not talking about your cousin. The way you speak is not a family inherited thing, bro. What is your point? So what was it influenced by? What was it influenced by? By your environment. So is braids. No, it's not. Yes, it is. It, bro, no, if it's man's not, seeing bro. braids, yeah, and I'm thinking, yo, if I'm seeing braids all around me, and I'm thinking, yo, that's sick, yeah? Okay, and I let... grew up and I grew up in this culture, yeah? And I grew up around these people, and, and I got a black person to, to, to do my braids. Is that cultural appropriation? But you, you're talking about yourself. No, no. Yes or no. Yes or no. No, it's not. No, it's not because they, they, they agree to it. So it's calm. Who am I to say it's, it's, it's wrong? But you just said you, you just said that. I'll you, be but you, you, no, you, but if, you, I, if you they've done it and I start making peas, is that is that cultural appropriation? Peas of what? Tell me peas of what though? Off the braids. Peas off, off the wearing the braids. No, like what's, people, what's, I start getting modeling shoes for, for wearing what, what, braids. What specifically though? I'm not talking about modeling. I'm talking about I'm talking about selling like products to that to that. To that um that part okay, of the Okay, no, okay, cool. If if Cantu came to me and said, Yo, listen, be the face for Cantu because you got braids on, would you have a problem with that? Yeah. Okay, so th- you should have you a problem. Have a problem, with problem with you yeah. should have a problem no, with No, why? The only reason he uses those signed, words. The only reason he uses those signed, words. He, name one language is something of else, that he's not bro. using Punjabi music, Punjabi listen, words. The language is different. No, no, listen. name one listen. music. Name bro, one you bro, you can't you can't just you move like Ben Shapiro here, just putting hypotheticals that I don't even agree to. Name one song from Miss that hasn't listen, got listen, a Punjabi listen, word in it. Listen, listen, listen. I don't even listen listen to Miss Lalab anyway. Um language is something you can pick up. Your braid doesn't naturally, your hair doesn't naturally braid itself when you're around black people, fam. Yes or no? Bro, is it not black, people's head, black people's hair doesn't naturally braid itself. Yeah, because it's their, their family, you do it to the, them. That's why I'm saying hair and language is two different things. When I'm, when I'm sitting around like, I don't okay, know. So, so wait, so if can I, I, if, I, if, so, if, if I go, so can I go, so wait, so can I use, you do. use Jamaican slang in my word? You do. In my, no, no, not all the time. You do. And that's, that's completely fine because that's part of London culture now. Do you know no, I mean? but they would, that's what they, they that's, what, that's what I'm saying. Culture is diff- like language is something that can assimilate the culture. Your hair doesn't naturally go into braids while you grow up around black people. Neither does your language. It does. It's not natural, your, bro. Your language naturally natural. adapts it's to the environment. Your, your hair can't learn to go into braids, bro. Either way, your hair can't learn Neither to go does into black braids. black people. Days, but what do you understand? I'm saying hair and language is two different things. Language is something you can pick up and adapt based on your environment. Your hair is not, yeah. 
that that also includes black people. Their like, hair is not something that naturally happens. They do it within their culture. That's why I'm saying they're two different things, bro. Hair and language are two different okay. things. So That's take language out of it. So we talked about mist, yeah. Don't focus on the Punjabi words that he used. He made a Bhangra song, yeah, and he made money off it. With with his a, culture, with, with an Asian producer though, who also yeah, made money he, off it. Yeah, but he he's still he's made money bung, off it. He's not a Bhangra That's producer. That's fine. He's, bro, he, he got guaranteed. Got the he got the course guaranteed. Sign. Guaranteed. Mist made the most money off that song. Cause he's the singer. Yeah. So but also, also, so also, that's, a problem with also, that. also, that's he's hypothetical. He's I don't, in, I don't know he's that. the bungra sound. I don't know that though. You, you just made that up. I don't know whether that's true or not. Bro, it's kind of impossible to research. But he, he exactly. was the biggest artist saying, on that it's, song. It's, it's something we don't. He know was the for biggest sure. artist on that song, man. That's calm. But we don't know for sure whether, like, in that situation, who made the most money. We don't know for sure. It's let's say he did. It's let's say he did make. Me. Yeah, yeah. Let's I, say he did make the most money. No, no, no. But let's say he did That's make the most money. The would that be cultural appropriation? It would be a problem. It wouldn't be cultural appropriation because he got close. Bro, what? What do you mean? That's what I'm saying. It's, yeah, but if AB got, got if AB got if gigs, if gigs, if gigs, if gigs co-sign, man, would that be okay? Yeah, but gigs is never gonna co-sign you, fam. No, but that's no, but it's a hypothetical. You guys if keep AB got a cosign to get man. braids and made money off his braids just because he got a cosign, it wouldn't be cultural appropriation, even though he's making money off it. But in that case, with Mist, Still Bangles also got the money off it, and whoever who, the other artists on the money yeah, still but, got money, bro. In, in you, AB's case, nobody is nobody else is getting money, just him. Bro, you have you have to admit that Mist made the most money off that. I don't know that for sure, but bro, at you least know, other people. Let's stop being dumb. Let's stop being dumb. Okay, even if, if it was a Mist, even if he did, yeah, even if he did. If it wasn't missed, then it was it was it was Steph London. That's that's a fact. It has that's to fine. Be I, those, I, it has to I, be between those two. Uh, yeah, both, but I know both it's just people, an issue. Both of them people are not Asian. That would be an issue for me, but it's not cultural appropriation, though. Why not? It's still an issue, but it's not. So cultural why is appropriation. why is it an issue? The only reason why, it's why not is it because it of the cosine. It, but then you say an AB situation. It is an issue. What do you mean? It is an issue. No, I'm asking you why is it an issue? Why I'm asking you why is it an issue for you? Because why should the 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 non Asian person make the most money off an Asian thing? Because it was his yeah. tune. Then that's fine. But like, it's not cultural provision. <laughs> I, don't, not cultural honestly, I don't think you're being consistent, man. I don't think you're being You don't need to be consistent in this case. That's what I'm trying to tell you. There no, no, no. Case but, by case, no, no, no. Nuance. Yeah, yeah. Of course it's case by case. But your your argument needs to be based on something solid. Like It, needs it, doesn't, to, it, it, it doesn't, though, in my opinion. So, so then you can just make it up as you go along. You could say anything is cultural appropriation. If there's no, if you, if you can't define you, anything. You could, but I wouldn't, though. Do you know what I mean? There's no, there bro. is no definition for. I told you the definition is people who exploit know, things <sighs> of cultures that were negatively disadvantaged because of their culture. Yeah. So going off that definition, mist is culturally appropriating. Yeah. You got a cosign. If it was, if it was on the tune by it himself, it can't be culturally bro, appropriating. Bro, you said if AB got a cosign and still made money off it, okay, stop. It wouldn't no, be cultural stop, appropriation. Stop, stop, stop. No, no, wait, stop, stop, stop. Let, no. Let's stick with that. Let's stick with that. No, 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 no. No, let's, no, let's I'm stick, no, no. switch it. No, no. No, because I want to, I want to address, I want to address that. If, I want to address that. Fowler, I just that. No, no. If Jack Fowler done what I missed done, uh, I start anyway. making pee. Anyway, <laughs> what you what you were saying, yeah, is you said, you said, you said, what is the what is the difference between them two? Or he left as well. He said, what is the difference between them two? And I, yeah. Yeah. In AB situation, the black people who co-signed it would not be making any money off it. That's the issue where I see it. Is Cantu a black owned brand? No, it's not. That's what, I see the issue with that as well. Oh, okay. All right. I I didn't know. I was just asking. Do you, do you get so what I mean? So in, yeah, in, yeah, in, yeah. in this situation, Still Bangles, or whoever the producer are, they made money off it. Whether they made yeah, enough, yeah. enough money is another separate issue away from cultural appropriation. I get that. It is but an let's, issue. Let's say AB got approached by a black-owned hair care company. He got co-signed to get braids and he still made money off that. You, you, you can't argue with it. Because the, the only reason you said the, the problem but, with AB before was, wasn't a problem is because uh, uh, black people weren't making money off it as well. If it was a black owned company, they're making money off it. What? No, I'm, I'm talking about that, that, again, that's different. Black and company is fine, they can do whatever. I can't say anything in that situation. See, all these goalposts but, change. But, I, can't, I can't keep up with the ever changing, the ever changing circumstances of the situation. Do you know what that's I mean? what I'm saying. That's why, that's why it's so ridiculous. No, I don't think so. There's in that situation, if it was a black owned company, what can I say? You know, I'm not black. They can they can make any decision they want. If yeah, they choose to hire you, AB, that's fine. That, but bro, well, you I, made I, that you made that excuse for mist. What do you mean? So you said the reason it's uh, the reason it was you said the reason it was a problem for AB is because no black people were making money off it, yeah. Yeah. 
So if the black owned company was making money off it and AB That's was fun. making more, AB was making money off it as well. Is AB still not culturally appropriate? No, because they co-signed him. Do you get what I'm saying? Do you get what I'm saying? This, the co-sign is still there from a company. I can't tell the company what to do. In that case, that they made that decision. Also, I feel like he got kind of hurt, you know? <laughs> this guy actually left, you know? Love it. Yeah. AB. I'm 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 sorry for muting you, bro. You stupid prick. <laughs> so it's 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 because you it's because you wanted to move on, yeah. And I was like, nah, this because in that situation, my point was being misconstrued, not by me, by you guys. So I didn't want to let it go in it. That's why I was like, I can't move off that point until it until what I address that situation. Me, me and Adam really recorded that part. I'm not gonna lie. I, I don't care. Tell me. <laughs> <clears throat> I, can't, I don't want to go into it again Even Odin was saying we, We've been going back and forth Too much anyway Go just say it Also yeah. we, we need to wrap up The recording Say it time. Shut up Anyway just say it bro so, What was it Let's re- I can't even remember bro Because there were so many I told you There were so many situations That were changing With so many hypothetical Circumstances here and there That my brain is now hurting fam I haven't eaten But I'm tired Okay <laughs> so, I'm tired, bro. It's, it's nine o'clock at night, and I haven't eaten all day. All I had was apple crumble. Yeah, relax. Damn, it's nine. No yeah. way. Nine. God damn. Anyway, so I want some apple crumble. <laughs> I, I have half eaten. You can have some of mine if you want. Anyway, yeah, I'm sorry for me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, should we wrap up? Or what did we talk about today? I can't lie, you know, at the beginning, yeah, we were like, well, I don't know if you have enough to say today. And then we argued for like a whole hour and a half. You know what, yeah, this, I think we were worried about not having enough to say because we we only thought we were going to talk about like like Brexit and Tories and stuff. (laughs) And then we went on two massive tangents. I don't know how this happened. I I think the the main takeaway from today, guys, is the audience just know if there was a tight and tall government, we'd be shambles. We'd again never get anything done. Yeah. (laughs) That's not an excuse for the Tories, though. Yeah, we'll no. do better. I think we'll do better than the Tories. It's not an excuse for Keir Starmer as well. Shit opposition, man. Oh, he's a waste, man. Marcus Rashford does he's more than so you. He's so limp. He job for you. He's so limp, man. He's got no backbone. He might as well be a fucking Tory cunt. <laughs> <laughs> uh, any takeaways, guys? Um, should I wrap up? Uh, I'll say, I'll say my, my closing statement, yeah? <laughs> yeah, go on. So we talked about Tories first, right? I think the way they handled the pandemic, shambolic. Obviously, we've said it before in, in previous uh, episodes as well. You lot have covered it when I, before I even came. Mm. Um, but yeah, it's totally shambolic. You just have to look at Twitter and you'll see how, how bad it's been handled. Um, but they're not being pushed by the opposition enough to, to improve anyway. Yeah. So, you know, you, you, you've got to put some blame on the Labour Party as well. Um, in terms of we talked about the death penalty as well yeah like I said in an ideal world where you could 100% be certain that someone committed the crime then yeah in certain situations the death penalty is justified for me Um, and then we talked about cultural appropriation (laughs) I still don't believe it's a thing (laughs) (laughs) please please don't cancel me in the DMs yeah yeah it's a a difference of opinion man it's calm it's calm at the end of the day Like whether whether I if I believe it and you don't believe it, yeah, nobody's getting hurt because of that kind yeah. of belief. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's so true. at the end of the day, guys, stop trying to cancel people, especially because he's white in it. They'll come for you even more. For, for real, that, that's what I'm worried about. <laughs> the guys, like, I, nah, is is, I, is he really <laughs> South Asian? Let's 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 find out. No <laughs> lie. Listen, I, to be honest though, like even though I am half white, like I don't really like present myself as white. Like mm. people would never guess that I'm white if I didn't tell them. Like the food I eat, I hardly eat white food. Yeah. My culture, like in terms of my clothing, I, I dress like according to my surroundings. Like it's not like I live in Pakistan and I'm wearing white clothing. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like I I I think I hardly present my white side, but it's because my mm. my white family is so small, so I, they kind of don't have an influence on me. Yeah. 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 So please don't cancel me. <laughs> He's got the cosign for for him. I said it's, it's okay. It's not for <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, that means it's okay. A B. Can I ask you a question? Can two, if, question can two, if you want to shout a man for for local braids advert, yeah. <laughs> Link in the description. Yeah, emails in the description. Shout me. Can I ask you something? 
Me? Yeah. Yeah. Did you actually get angry when I muted you? No. Oh, because when I was calling you, I called this guy yeah, after he muted, he left the call and he wasn't, wasn't joining him for like five minutes. <laughs> I was like, oh, shit. My, my phone I, actually, oh, you can't really see, but my phone yeah. actually died, fam. I was like, oh, shit. I, I actually pissed him off, you know. There's like a poet and mouse, mouse situation here with it. <laughs> one nah, one nah, brother nah. leaves the podcast off of it through. I'm like, damn, how are you going to wrap this up in bad terms, innit? Nah, 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 nah. I wasn't pissed. I was, bro, I, when he's, gee, when I was laughing when he texted me. When you when you called, you were like, "Shut up, man!" And you put the phone down straight away. Well, I for another, you know, for another thirty seconds, I was like, "Sorry, bro, I won't do it. I won't do it again." Yeah. And I look at the phone; it was off the whole time. Bro, do you, come no. on, man. Do you, what, do you really think I'll shut the phone, fam? That's that's my <laughs> group. I shut the phone because I was trying. I was joining the, the Zoom call, fam. Oh. You just didn't let me in. Well, I couldn't see it. I couldn't see it. But anyway, we're going we're going off topic, innit? Yeah. Um. Yeah. What's your takeaways other than twerking for Cantu? Um. I don't know, I think Arden really, I, I mean, Ads really summed out quite well. By the way, I'm not saying, I I don't <laughs> I don't have a problem with anyone taking away like, anyone's culture. If, if you, you have a right to be pissed off, be pissed off if you want to. I'm just saying that I wouldn't, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. But guys, uh, I'm not sorry if I offended you. <laughs> He's, yeah. Yeah. I think, I think my, my main, like, Close the remark is that like we're kind of stupid in it, yeah. Well, speaking for myself personally, in it, when it comes to, when it comes to like debates and stuff, yeah, we might say things and not think about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think that's very important to clarify in, in certain topics that we spoke about today. Um, that I don't I think we have... said anything mad though. No, I don't, I don't think I did either. But that's me again. Personally, I think I didn't say anything mad. It can come across, you know, on Twitter you can say, "Oh, I like ready salt chips," and someone will say, "Fuck you, man." Yeah, about some vinegars. So, uh, that's I like... the thing. I was going to say, like, the, the listeners need to understand, like, we, we have this, this discussion, like, this, in this particular episode, and none of us have done research on it. Yeah, like, it literally came out of nowhere, fam. We're literally just saying the first thing that comes to our head. Yeah. So well, we like, especially with, with the cultural appropriation that, one, yeah, we had, we had no plan to speak about that at all. Yeah. 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 So that's why when you guys were throwing hypothetical situations at me, bro, I was like, <laughs> I don't know. That's the thing. Like, it's just the first thing that comes to your head, isn't it? What the fuck am I meant to do? What? I don't know. <laughs> Yeah. Like if and if and if I answer it, then I'm gonna be held to it. Like five five episodes later, or like ten years later, yeah. so I'm gonna be like, you said, oh, you said this was cultural appropriation. Now you're doing it. I don't know. I said it in the heat of the moment, fam. That was a good conversation, you know. It was a good conversation. Good conversation. Right. I think we need we need a we need a fun one next week. All right, and the last thing we're gonna leave you guys on this week is a statement from my good friend. Fucking Tory cunt. <laughs> and on that note, <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. <Peace out. laughs>